Critically Unfocused Podcast, episode 133. <laughs> <laughs> 133, man. 133. God damn, we getting up there. This, hey, 133 turns into 150 pretty soon. We got a lot of numbers. We outside. We have more more episodes than uh, Carmelo Anthony and uh, Mero. Hmm. Are That's they even fact. trying to podcast? I don't know. I haven't checked that show out yet. Have you checked it out yet? I have. It's good. It's real good. Yeah, I gotta check it out. I fuck with Melo. I fuck funny. with Mero too. Yeah. I that like was like one of the first podcasts that I was kind of like really like into the Bodega Boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mero has two like, podcasts right now. They're, he has Victory Light too, which is also good. But they, oh, I, don't even know. Like, I think one of the other co-hosts on there speaks Spanish too. So sometimes they just like they're telling jokes. You can tell it's funny, but they do that thing where he just be talking Spanish like hella fast, yeah. like a lot. It's like, all right, yeah, I don't know. If that's funny. I want to laugh, but I don't know what y'all are talking about. Yeah, man. Uh, got your Booker T uh, era going. Oh yeah, I got my uh, my. Is there uh, a word for that? Tube. What is that called? God, when you buy the thing, it just says lock tube. I, I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah, no, that's what it's called. Yeah. My, None of the uh, other things that we put on our heads have titles so simple in, in, as black people, but that's literally do-rags. what that is. It's a lock tube. Yeah. We have like bonnets. We have do rags. Yeah. We have um. I don't know. They call them lots of things, but none of them actually define what they are. Skull cap, like yeah, skull cap, yeah, uh, yeah. I was gonna say a beady dog, nah. but yeah, no, nah, man. These uh, when your hair gets too long, man, you can't. After like maybe like after once your hair starts getting like, it can kind of like, you can pull it down to your ear. You can't wear do rags no more because then it's like all fucking poof. Yeah, they're coming out. Yeah, and then so yeah, I finally got my oh shit, uh, I got my hair retwisted. Last Friday, that was my first time getting my hair retwisted since the end of March. End of an era. End of multiple yeah. eras for you. Yeah, that was uh, I. That was the last time I got my hair retwisted. Oh, uh, he he got his hair retwisted. He back to work. It's just yeah, he changes for the boy. A haircut and everything. Yeah, I I don't I don't usually go that long in between like retwists, but like man, it's just sometimes I just don't be caring. But like, it is nice not looking retwist. contenderish no more. Just lots, lots of shit is shaking up for your world right now. Nah, yeah, man. The, uh, <laughs> it is what it is, man. But you know, hey, man. At least I'm here. At least I'm here. Get the happy to see you. One of my favorite things with uh, one of my favorite people, hey, and man. one of my least favorite people is gone this week. So <laughs> it's looking up. Taking <laughs> uh, yeah. his ass in that uh, place of appointment. No. Nah. Um. No, nah, man, uh, th- how, how's your weekend been? You know, we, uh, well, there wasn't no cost of this past weekend, huh? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, I'm back to work. Uh, it was nice. Vacation was nice. Just two weeks of doing absolutely nothing. Getting my bum on, just chilling, waking up, playing game, chilling, just hanging out with some family and some friends. Nothing really special, but back yeah. to work. And then yesterday, I didn't get off till nine o'clock yesterday, so that was nice. It's hella Seven. dark at nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, it was ridiculous. No, because man, we had hella sick calls and just shit went bad. And then they were trying to get me to come in today, work my day off. Like, oh man, you know, you just came back from vacation. You want to come in on your day off tomorrow? No. I'm like, hell though. No. I know tomorrow's <laughs> about to be terrible. Mm-mm. Yeah, because of how bad yesterday was, because some stuff didn't go out because we were just short on bodies. Is there a cutoff for like how late y'all can be out there? They be saying it's nine, but like around this time of year, like December. Uh no, nah, not really. I mean, like, yeah, it's not really. I guess it's kind of like upper management. Like, our, we got our supervisors and station manager. It's, like, higher than that. They got to make a call. Because at, at some point, it's like, they say it's not safe. So I'm saying, yeah, they never can expect people walking up to their house that late. Like, we don't have walking routes, though, in, in federal way. Oh, I mean, so I know that there was a time, though, where you still were out that late when you weren't on your current route. Oh, yeah, I'll be doing something else, yeah. But, like, that's the thing where... uh. So every the only time we, I guess I gotta walk up and drop something off of people's houses, but it's not like as much, and you know you can just put stuff in like boxes and shit like that. But it, it's not as bad. But there are some, there are things where I do think about, like damn, like it's hella late, it's dark as fuck. I'm a darker man, you know, a shadowy yeah. figure. I dropped the shelf in your driveway. <laughs> like it is what it is. I'm not feeling, you know, some, you know, hey man, you know, people be scary, man. Better get it for the raccoons, dude. Oh yeah, bro. There was one time I had to drop like a package off at these apartments, and so I, I, I parked the truck, whatever, and I'm getting ready to walk towards the the steps. 
there's like five, there's like five, six raccoons, and they just chilling there. So I start like walking closer towards because I had like a decent size, but I think it was like a blender or something or something like yeah. that. And then uh I keep getting close and they just looking at me and they just start walking towards me. And uh, I I dropped that packet and I just left it there and ran did, back. Did you carry like a I know you, like an actual gun is you can't do that, but like a like an air pistol? That's a good question. I have no idea. That'll that'll definitely back a raccoon up. I watched this, like I think I sent it to y'all in the chat. Um, this dude on YouTube who'd be like sniping squirrels in his garden with the air sniper rifle and like their oh, eyes yep. popping out the head and shit. Yeah. A, a pistol, you probably just hit it and you gotta kill it. Probably, yeah. You know, we have like mace and shit. That's probably no different than that. They sold at the same place. Yeah. Manaya, back to work, back to the grind. I do got time off next week, but uh I'm gonna cancel it. I'll just probably take off Saturday, so I can have Saturday Sunday off next week. But other than that, that extra, yeah, yeah, because I'm gonna I'm gonna start taking my time off in December now, because uh in December they take they get rid of like double pay. Oh yeah, so like you know anything, so like anything over ten hours you get paid double. If you anything if you're working your day off anything over eight hours is double. If you work your second day off, that's double time all day. They get rid of that in December, and then like. Do in December they treat they treat the job totally different. You could tell them, hey, I'm you could not have that much to be like, oh, what time you'll be back today? You could tell them 9 45. They're like, all right, I'll be here. They don't give a fuck. They try to overwork you, so I'm gonna start taking my time off in December from now. You know what it is though? I'm sure like they're like they get all that shit out of here because it probably sets the tone for the rest of the year. Cause th- that's how people like kind of build trust in like the postal service versus like going to FedEx or UPS is like whether or not their shit gets there for Christmas to yeah. loved ones and all that stuff. So it's like uh, y'all gotta hit the trees because if not, we're not gonna get business the rest of the year. So man, fuck that. Pay us like we're supposed to get paid, but but yeah, now nah, I'm in back to work and it is what it is. It's straight. But what about you? How's your uh, week, my brother? No, it's been cool. Uh wrapped up last week of my my prior job this last week. So my last Friday, my last day there. Uh, spent like most of uh Friday afternoon at a buddy's house over here. He has a golf in his garage. Oh um, nice. Yeah, that was cool. Um was really sore the next day, which made me just re- again feel washed, but that's that's fine. It's just where we're at in life. Not um, nice, it yeah, I was over there though. So, right, like I said, my buddy had a golf in his garage. Um, I um he was like, Man, I'm hungry, and he's about to go pick up a pizza. And I was like, Hey man, I have like DoorDash uh plus or whatever. Um, why I can just I can just order it's free delivery. And he's like, DoorDash Plus, what the hell is that? Some rich people shit. And I got in my head, I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, you have a golf sim in your garage? Like, yeah, no, that's funny. Yeah, but, he said um, that. I don't know it was funny. It just made me realize, like, no, that is some lazy shit. Though. Like, why do I have this? But, uh, that was cool. I was home with myself all weekend. Yeah. Um, so that was not cool. That shit was not fun. Sounds fun at first, but it stops being fun like three hours in. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> my it. wife, my wife, and my daughter. Um, so yeah, I got some shit done. I bought a meat bundle. There I never go. heard of that before. Went to the butcher, loaded up, got okay. right. hella meats. Um, <laughs> but for a really good price, actually. So I think it was like sixty three pounds of various cuts. It was like less than three hundred dollars. So okay, yeah. Shout out to uh, you getting all the meat that you could handle in one purchase. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what you said, man. Hey, man. I'm sure it was. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm sure, you had a great time. Will maturity come in 2024? I don't know. I doubt it though. Yeah, nah, uh, nah, never. And <laughs> yeah, did some of that. Um, watched some football, played some games, man. Uh, all in all, a good time. Um, at the man, y'all y'all made me download Gotham Knights. Well, they all make me 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 feel left out. I downloaded because I want to play with y'all, and I could not get that shit going. In that game, <laughs> a fucking struggle. Fuck um, you. I know, yeah, that's on me. Oh, um, we are uh we are turtle gang on Fortnite. We we copped the, the Ninja Turtles bundle. We did do that. We did yeah, do that. So. We got our ass whipped multiple yeah. times. Yeah. We we've caught some W's like recently though. Well, me and you have. Yeah, it's not <laughs> true. We, we are good. I'm to I was, <laughs> don't say no names, but yeah, Raylan and Schmon L. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. So Epic Games, uh, we, we definitely spend enough money with you guys. Uh, you know, send us some V bucks or some, you know. Hey, they I don't know if they're still doing it, but they they used to do creator codes. It wouldn't give people a discount when they bought shit, but um it would give a thing a kickback to the person's code who used. Mm-hmm. 
I mm. feel like that. I mean, just because I feel like that shouldn't be too hard to get. I feel like we can probably strive for that. Yeah, like, bro, we, we clearly play it. Yeah, no, me too. I, I got yeah. a lot of shit. Exactly. You've had you've been a, a crew member for probably close to a year at this point. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. Probably. Since I think I bought the ninety nine dollar VC. Uh, not VC. Who's my fault? V buck bundle. I think twice yeah. now. So come on, man. <laughs> Epic man. Fuck with us, man. For real. You fuck with y'all. Got a great product. Y'all are one of the few games doing four K one twenty frames per second. Um, it feels good. It's very responsive. The, you barely run into like lag issues and shit like that when you're playing. Uh, I do have a complaint about the bots this season. That's just kind of crazy, but um, it doesn't really impact the fun like that. You just kind of wish there were people more often than not. It's like, damn, you guys, I can walk up at the open and just mow you down. All yeah, three yeah. of y'all. You'd be feeling good about yourself at the beginning of the match, and then you run into like the fucking best shooters of all time. That last 15, like that's, God, see, that's the problem. Like, I don't be ready for them because I've been facing boss the whole time. Yeah. Like, like oh shit, he really moving six hundred feet away. They all kind of crazy shit. They got real strategies, but yeah, man, mm-hmm. epic man, come, come fuck with us, man. Come on, and then we can make that be that be nice. If we get our uh, we were in the V store one day. That would be hard. Ooh, yeah, we put us right next to Mister Beast, man. Basically, exactly. Come on, man. They just put the uh, the African dude. He was in the the battle pass last season from TikTok, dude. That don't be saying that he'd be making them the faces and shit. That could be yep. us, man. Three honorable black men up there. What you wearing on your uh Fortnite skin? Uh shit. That's a good question. i probably I'd probably try to go like um more uh is fiction the real one or fake one? Fiction is fake. Probably try to go like more fictional. Like I'd like to have like a mech suit or some shit. I don't know. I'd make it like cool. <laughs> uh I'm definitely wearing some short shorts and a basketball jersey. Nah, they're gonna they're gonna put you in a mailman uniform. That's gonna be your alternate. Hey, that would be hard. Nah, man. Come on. Yeah, nah. We, we gotta get in Fortnite, man. Come on. They put everybody else up there. Yeah, no, nah, I might go in a golf fit. That might be it. You wear shorts or pants? Uh I'll probably do pants. I'll probably go like tiger with the red top black pants. Okay. Glove on. No salmon. Salmon. Yeah, salmon like color. Oh, you wear red on Sundays. That's salmon. Uh oh. No, I'm talking about you. Like you, you don't, you don't wear salmon. It's like you look good. I don't salmon. have no salmon golf fits. I have one salmon shirt in my entire. Um, I actually have two. That's not true. I have two in a hoodie. Oh, okay. See, you just lied already. But, man, I don't be salmon out like that. Um, we were talking about people being off of work though, and they can move on to some guy who's out of work, who's definitely out of work now. Um, that man, Jonathan Majors. Oh wow, that's a well, good ass transition. That's yep. crazy. I had to get to it before we moved on too far from the work shit. Um, so I don't necessarily, I guess, care too much to get into the specifics of what he exactly got charged with or like how that shit went down or anything like that. Yeah. The important part to me is that like he's no longer king, um, which is a giant thing because there's literally a fucking like Avengers movie with his name in it. Um yeah, it, it's up. already gotten uh Name renamed is just Avengers Five. That's okay, so maybe they, they can move on to something else. Yeah. Uh, so th- this is a lot of moving pieces. It's clear that Disney probably had like some type of contingency plan that they were maybe in place because, and literally as soon as the conviction dropped, like they got rid of him. Yeah. Um, I just kind of want to know like what you think is going to happen from here because um, this is this is a unforeseen territory at a time when Disney desperately needs a win. Yeah, uh, uh, man, yeah, DC, they they gotta, they gotta get their shit together. Uh, honestly, mm-hmm. I think the contingency plan probably is maybe they'll, they probably want to speed up Doom, I guess, because Thanos is done, and then it's like, what other big bad? Because I thought even if like if they kept Kang, I thought like they would bring Doom in and like maybe he'd kill Kang, but like yeah. especially like you know like the hype of uh, Fantastic Four coming back and all the Fox stuff, and they start using that. So we, we, it'll be Doom because Doom is probably like their next big villain that everybody wants to see. I can't think of nobody yeah. else. So they'll probably. I just don't want them to rush into Doom and it's and they fuck it up. But well, that's I think a lot of people say that. But what what does that look like rushing into it? Like what what would um what are some key things that they may skip over in order to rush into it? Like that you would need to know in order for you to appreciate Doom. So I don't. Oh, so you know what? I So remember like the rumors for um. That Doom was supposed to, there's supposed to be like hints of Doom 
in like the there's supposed to be like a second post credit scene in uh Wakanda Forever. Remember it? Like they, okay. So I, I, if that was like if they're if they want to get Doom involved, I wonder why they cut out that because I guess I don't remember exactly how it's supposed to go, but I know there's supposed to be hints of like Latveria, and then obviously you know Latveria. That's the whole fucking the Doom thing. So I wonder why they got rid of that in the first place. But I guess like how could they fuck up Doom? So if he's supposed to be the big villain of this next phase, you can't kill him off in one movie. I feel like that's a problem Marvel has kind of had with their movies. They use like a good villain and they kill him off, like they did it with uh, what's the villains they've killed off in the MCU? They killed. I think uh, I think they fucked up Ultron. They fucked up Ultron. But at the same time, Ultron, they established him enough to the point where he may also not actually be dead. Yeah. So, I'd have to rewatch that movie. I can't. I haven't seen that movie. Like, well, it's just the fact that he's an AI. Basically, he's not that 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 um machine that they were fighting or those robots yeah. they were fighting. He's yeah. an AI, so he okay. could still exist. Like, he might just be uh, cut himself off or something. Another villain. Uh, I don't like how they handled. They killed the. Uh, you seen uh Love and Thunder? Oh yeah, they they handled that terrible. But I wasn't even talking about they ruined that. But they they fucked. I think they kind of fucked up Taskmaster. They killed Taskmaster. Yep. Yeah, they, they killed. Um, no, 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 no. She's alive. I thought they killed Taskmaster at the end of uh, Black Widow. Didn't they kill Taskmaster? I think she went off with them girls at the end. I don't remember. See, in that that's the game. Well, that's okay, so I know another. One, I'm, game. Yeah, back. it's been. I know another one. They did fuck up for sure. Like with, with Black Panther. Why would you kill off Black Panther's number one villain, his arch enemy, in like the first thirty minutes of the movie when they killed Claw? Yeah, I feel like they, they never established his power as being that though. Too, so I mean, well, from from well, day one them. when they showed him, they never really gave him that type of love. You talk about Claw? Hmm. Well, they showed he had like the arm hand and cannon thing. I think, I think when they when they made Black Panther, I don't think they expected it to become like the phenomenon it did and like make as much. So I think they kind of realized like, oh fuck. We killed off like his main enemy. I'm we saying killed off, but, we killed off two of his like main enemies. Like one movie, like damn, we kind of fucked up. No, when when they showed him, um, what was that? Uh, it was the Captain America movie. Um, Red Winter Skull. Soldier. Oh no no no! Okay, wait. That's that's when Claw first got introduced because he was on that boat. I think. Was Claw on a? I'm pretty sure because the, the the boat like had vibranium on it, and that's like what there was going. I, I'm pretty sure he was on that boat because like. He got established in a movie that was outside of Black Panther, and then they brought him back up in Black Panther. Mm. I'm saying he was never that strong; he wasn't a threat to nobody. So, so like maybe he got the arm cannon, but like the power levels they had put like T'Challa at specifically, um, them two that was never going to be a fight. Like, yeah, yeah, maybe, but I don't. It's just like that's like the, the that's the main villain that like you know that he's always like trying to invade Wakanda. Show, and stuff. And show, I was kind of surprised, like, damn, why did they kill Kong in the first Black Panther movie? But yeah, I would have liked. I mean. Obviously, there, it, it wasn't Disney uh, doing something wrong, but I would have liked to have seen T'Challa against uh, Namor. But that's what was supposed to happen. Yeah, that would have been so raw. Dog, that would have been fucking fire, man. But yeah. so who else? You said they fucked up. Uh, you said Red. You think they fucked up Red School? Yeah, because I feel like if you could, he could, you could have him still being like the other cat movies, especially like with the the next cat movie with uh with Sam Wilson. He, mm-hmm. I still think you could do stuff with Red Skull and then maybe introduce his like daughter or something. But then like he died and then he was in like that that one universe or something. Because remember he was with the Dreamstone or something. Yeah, he like got because the, the the Tesseract pulled him through or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They um, did that. They pussified Abomination. Yeah, they did. Um. Another one, damn! I just had it in my head. Um, Dormammu. I mean, I just Dormammu. Like, damn! It showed Dormammu yet, right? Dormammu was the villain of the first um, Doctor Strange movie, sort of. Okay. He was threatening them, and he was controlling those other sorcerers who were coming after Strange. Oh. And then finally, he like at the end of the movie, Doctor Strange goes into the dark dimension. It tells Dormammu, like, "Hey, you got to stay where you at because I got the Eye of Agamotto. Don't come over here and threaten and shit." Because okay. I can I can stop you and like until I don't have this you can't come over here. Okay. Um, and then that's that's how come he got pulled away at the end of Multiverse of Madness because old girl I think came from the dark dimension to say hey we need your help or whatever. Yeah, Cl- Cleo? Cleo, 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 yeah. Cleo, I think Cleo, Cleo, or Cleo. Cleo. It's one of those. Yeah, I don't know much about none of that. I'm just I was I actually that's playing, his wife, or it's going to be his wife. Okay, I was I was yeah. playing um 
What's the the, the, the top down like four person Marvel Mid- game? That's Midnight Sun. No, 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 no. Oh, the, uh, Ultimate Alliance. I was, I was playing the third one on uh, my Switch. On Switch, game. yeah. I'm in the Dark Dimension on there. Okay, that's that that what's up. coming up. But yeah, um, not. What is it? So I don't like with Strange. Like I don't. I mean, not Strange with Doctor Doom. Like I know, like he's he's that dude in the comics and stuff like that. But I don't necessarily like, know like about like um like what what is his power? Because he was like on the ship with the Fantastic Four when they got hit with the meteor or whatever. Kind of just like I know he's got like like some like it's like sorcery mixed with like cosmic energy and stuff like. But he's he's fucking cold. So why is he, like why is he so dangerous though? Is it, it's just he's like really smart combined with those things. Or yeah, like... Spartan. Yeah, he's like okay. He's and not he's too, like, some sp- he, special metal. His intellect kind of rivals Reed Richards. That's why what makes him so dangerous with that power. Okay. Yeah. That's big time. Yeah. But. Huh. Okay. I mean, see, so, yeah, so from my perspective, like, because I have, I guess I have an appreciation of like how powerful he is, like, from like how they hold him in, in stance in the comics. So just having him show up for me, it wouldn't fuck it off. But I, like I said, like, I don't have the knowledge of like the backstory the same way like, you might or something like that. So yeah, it'd be harder for me to feel like they missed something. Um, yeah. If they did uh... swap those out right now. Yeah, I just I just want to see because it's like I know we all so we obviously done they're making a Fantastic Four movie. So like I wanna how much he's gonna be a part of that that initial Fantastic Four movie to introduce him. I don't think you would make him the first villain. Cause you know, usually they do like the first villain, they get him out of there, they kill him or something. But like if you want to make him the big bad of this next phase, so it's like you can't you can't you know you can't kill him off in the first Fantastic Four movie. So I wonder who's gonna be their villain when they make their movie. So then it makes you think like another reason. So that was supposed to be what Avengers King Dynasty. So I mm-hmm. guess it's just supposed to be titled Avengers Five. But I, I think it's like who the fuck is in the Avengers right now? Besides, it's what Captain Marvel, Sam Wilson is Cap. Um, Fury's probably not. Um, what about who? Who's the the young girl from uh, second Black Panther movie? Ironheart. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna be in the Avengers. Okay. Uh of uh, Ant Man probably in. Ant Man. Um Hulk is probably still in because he came back in She Hulk. Yeah, but he, so he went off world though. Did he leave at the end of She Hulk? He they got in that spaceship, remember? I remember he showed up he at the dinner with, with his, his son. son. He showed up with Hulkling, but I think he got in the spaceship and left, I feel like. I thought he left during She Hulk to go get Hulkling, and then he came back at the end with him. Maybe, Pretty sure that's right? what happened because he was he was calling her while he was on the ship, like flying uh, out. Okay, Disney. okay, I think you might be right then. Yeah, so he's back and he has a son, so maybe he helps. Um, who else? Um, uh, goddamn Thor. dude that Thor's was a scroll around. forever. Uh, War Machine. Oh yeah, yeah, Rhodey, yeah, Rhodey. Um, they probably can't get uh the girl with the star in her back who can go through dimensions. She probably can't help for shit. But they probably oh. do get uh, Captain or, or Miss Marvel, Kamala yeah. Khan. Um, shit, is the coppers or bear? Do Spider-Man. you give a fuck about this? Who you think's about to be in the Avengers right now? Does it seem like it's kind of yeah? The problem is like I feel like we were getting hit with sequels and shit for um the the first batch of Avengers like yeah. for their movies like quite a lot more a lot of build up. We yeah, for, then mm-hmm. we then we are for this group like um. Who's, who's my dude with the gin rings? Oh, Shang Chi. Yeah, like where's he been, dog? Like he has some dope shit. Like he's got to be in. They gotta call him. They're talking about he's supposed to get a sequel. I don't really know. If, I personally don't know if I I need a Shang Chi sequel, but sure, I guess. Nah, he was on because he again. It's the problem with origin stories. Like he didn't really figure his shit out till the end. Yeah, when we saw him fight his daddy in that dragon, but like. Now okay, take that shit back to the streets and like let's see what's up. It was like it was it was going down when they was fighting on like the, the bamboo scaffolding and shit. The like that first half of that movie is amazing. That shit was fire. But when they got mm-hmm. to the other world, it was like it was a, a big kaiju battle, and I just kind of wasn't feeling it. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, it was kind of like too much was kind of going on. Yeah. yeah. So bring him back, let him fight some more grounded folks. Um shit. I don't know. I mean, see, this is the other problem too. It's like we the, the term Avengers level threat is a thing. But like, what if like we scaled the shit back down and like, um, I'm feeling like if it's like a New York City level threat again or something like that, not street level, but like, take it back to how the first movie was, where like you kind of mm-hmm. got you, you got to fight people on the street. Like it's not like yeah. oh, 
shit, we're in a space and like the, the threat of the gold galaxies on the line, shit like that. Maybe yeah. that's not the case no more. Like, maybe we move away from that. That's what I, I want more like grounded stories and more like street level stuff. Like like Spider Man. I feel like at the, at his essence, like Spider Man's a street level superhero, Daredevil. Uh, who's more street level? Spider Man, Daredevil, Luke Punisher's Cage. more street level. Who? Luke Cage. <laughs> yeah, that nigga will not be in the MCU. <laughs> Duh, that nigga's man. Yeah, <laughs> bring it back, man. It ain't no here to hurt nobody. That nigga swaggerless. He's like the he's like the one like not cool black superhero. Oh, I feel like he's shit. I feel like he's kind of like a. He's one of those that like he got created at a time period, probably like 70s, 80s, whatever. And then like he kind of never got like modernized. So I, suppose, still... I feel like he was written for our parents. Yeah. <laughs> and he's kind of like they never made him like cool for like modern. But you know, like, yeah, it's just like, okay. Like, I, I, guess. Like, I don't hate I didn't hate that show. The first season of that show was cool. The second season was boof. It was too corny. That nigga had an app. That nigga was dabbing and Harlem shaking. I was like, all right, man, this shit. That nigga was getting beat up by Jamaican niggas. It's, it's working. And that, Jamaican, <laughs> and that, that Jamaican nigga beat him the fuck up. <laughs> oh, Yo. God. That nigga was just eating jerk chicken and just beating niggas up, getting power. Like candles and shit. Yeah, nah. Shout, shout out to Luke uh, Cage season two. But yeah, nah. Uh, yeah, nah. It, they probably bring Doom. But hey, I think man, either Doom or the, the mutants are the emergency button. Yeah. Hey, man. DC, DC got a little, they got a little opening, man. They got a nail got a little, pocket. They, hey, they got a little pocket, man. They can nail it with Superman uh, Legacy, Nick, with 2025? Supposed to be? Summer um, 2025? That might be a little late. No, I think I think it's July 2025, yeah. That might be a little late to strike while the iron's hot, I'm saying, though. Mm. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think DC has anything coming out this year coming up. That I yeah, because X-Men, X-Men 97 is next year. Yeah, X Men '97, the uh, Spider Man cartoon, and the Wakanda cartoon. But mm-hmm. yeah, I'm trying to think. DC, I don't know. I know DC got a uh, Creature Commandos dropping. I don't know what's up with like their plans for their TV shows because you know they have the they got the Green Lantern series that's supposed to be what what John Stewart and Hal Jordan. Uh, Did they kill Black Adam? So there's no more of that coming. Hey man, a seven we trust. What's that mean? That's the Rock, man. Whatever, whenever the Rock wants to come back, man, he'll make it work, man. Why is he seven? No, that remember he always tells that story. He was like, man, when he moved and he so was home on Wall Street, he only had seven dollars in his wallet, and that's all he know, needed. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know. Uh, I know. I know that story. I didn't know that was like a slogan. A nah, it's nah, seven we trust, nigga. It's seven we trust. All right, that could be something. Yeah, no. Huh. Yeah, but shit. Speaking of uh, Marvel shit, what you did, have you personally seen the uh, the videos for the Wolverine game leak? Them hackers was not playing, bro. So I the, the I clicked the link that you have on here and I had not seen this video so I just I watched a little bit of it but yeah. I had seen a lot of other stuff from it um I actually I did some screenshots so bro they was not playing they was like you niggas got a week to give us two milli and if we ain't getting it this shit is going online well and the, yeah the shit is bad because like it wasn't like obviously the Wolverine stuff is like what we pulled out and looked at but they like were leaking people's passports and shit. Oh yeah, now nah, nah, that's not cool. I'm not for that. That's wrong. You need to be arrested if you're doing shit like that. But leaking, really, none uh, of I mean, I think it, uh, none of, none of the leak shit is cool. It does not help us as consumers. It's fun to look at right now, but yeah. it really fucks up business for these companies. Um, because they yeah they could be planning on doing something based on like someone else losing the license agreement on a certain year, and now that news is out that they are working on this thing, um. Somebody else could renew the lights and make it too expensive for them to do or something like that. Oh, I never thought of it like that, but yeah, no, nah, that's but so they but see, they leaked the whole plot for a <clears throat> Yeah, the, the shit in Madripoor and all that stuff. No, they leaked the, the whole movie. plot, like they got a the script for it. Oh shit, I didn't even see all that. I just yeah. saw like I just saw like gameplay footage, uh like some screenshots. And then I did you see the, the picture of the timeline? Uh yeah, so I got all timeline? that. Okay, I'm yeah. about to pull this stuff up. So here, I'll, I won't. I was like, man, them niggas was not playing. It was like, hey, hey, shout out to Sonic for not caving in, man. They ain't pay. They was like, fuck you, niggas, man. This shit, the brick. Wonder how they feel anyway. now. Um, so there's some casting stuff from it. Um, we got. Hey, she in every damn thing, man. Shout out to her. She keep them gaming checks. No, 
because he's talented as hell. Yeah. Um, we then what is Mystique? We got Mystique. Uh, we got Callisto. Uh, this was that red Omega Red. Yep. I remember, he, I remember him from like the old like uh, Marvel fighting games. He had like the cables coming out of his arm. Nigga, he hates that nigga, bro. Woo! Like, that's probably the second. That's the dude he hates. Second, besides uh, besides Saber Two, Wolverine hates Omega Red. Damn, yeah. uh, Sunfire. I remember him from like my big like X Men encyclopedia book I had. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Saber Tooth, obviously. Oh shit, it's cut off down here. That looks like Lee Schreiber though. Low key. Huh. Um, they got the timeline of shit they had coming out. Yeah. Spider Man Two obviously already hit. Venom's coming into twenty twenty five. Wolverine, which I was surprised. I, like this is like uh, late 2026. Yeah, that's um, what it looks like. Yeah, Spider Man 3 2028, which is nuts to think about because we're probably looking at close to a next console at that time. Mm-hmm. PS6. Um, yeah, Ratchet and Clank 2029, and then X Men 2030. Um, but what they were, um, one thing that came out of this is that Sony owns the X Men license yeah. through 2030. Like no one else can do anything with it. If it's not under oh through 20, I thought I saw through like 2035. Maybe 2035, 2035 then. Um, from locations from the from the Wolverine game. They got Alaska, Avalon, which do you know where that is? Nope. Yeah, Canada, Japan, and Madripoor. Madripoor, yeah. Um I'll leave it the dates we just talked about. Yeah. Um, there's more shit that came out than this. Is there's a lot actually. And the gameplay, like, um, I think for being as early as it is, it does look pretty good. Like, yeah, it looks very uh, God of War-ish, which I'm not mad at. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm excited. I didn't know Wolverine to be that much of an acrobat. Maybe I just missed something. Um, but he definitely he, he can move some around. Personal he, shit going on. He, yeah. he be scaling walls with his claws and shit. He be climbing up mountains and shit. Charge it, people! Like, ah. Yeah, but, I know that saber tooth fight's gonna be nuts though. However they do it. Oh yeah, saber tooth got it. That's they gotta that's have Peter, them, that's Peter Griffin eyeballs and the chicken. Out. Exactly. I do want to see like how much damage he could take, and I kind of want to see like his healing factor, like in work kind of how they like display how, that damage being taken. Yeah, like how the X Men Origins Wolverine game. Yeah, you could like his, his skull or his skeleton would start showing and shit, mm-hmm. and then it starts healing up over time, which was pretty cool. So I want to I want to see that and display, and I do want to see uh what other if any other mutants like make a make any like appearances. They got to show somebody. I'm talking about maybe just like I want to see maybe like. Maybe like an Xavier or a Cyclops or Mystique. So maybe uh, you could get a Nightcrawler involved. I do want to see like who else makes an appearance. Oh shit, he's so old that there's a this chance he never that. interacts with those people. Yeah, that's true. This could be before that. Yeah, before the whole X Men shit. Maybe this could be a prequel to like that X Men game. Honestly, it probably is that. I would because yeah. 2026, 2028 is not that far, even though things are far from us right now. But. Yeah. Actually, I, I, I'm almost positive now that that's what this is. It's a, it's a prequel to the X Men game. Yeah. In an X Men game, what X Men do you want to use? Or what they gotta have? Do you think just you think they go back to like the regular ones from like the animated series, the cartoons? We grew. I on? think it's probably the core group. I think you, yeah. you're probably seeing Wolverine, or Cyclops, Cyclops Jean, yeah, East, Storm. I bet you can't use Jean. You don't think so? I bet anything this first game is probably going to be something with rescuing Eugene. Yeah, she's OP as fuck. She's way too fucking strong. Yeah. You want to see walk around punching people with Jean Grey, like Yeah. Yeah, I guess like yeah. Cyclops or I bet you put Nightcrawler in though. He'd probably be good for like Nightcrawler. Yeah. The beast you can use Beast. He's like, he's oh, Beast probably be fun. Yeah, Beast would be dope. Maybe uh some Colossus, maybe. Depends on who the all they want to have in it, but Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. And Sony, I don't make ass games, so I am kind of disappointed that a, another Ratchet and Clay game is not. We're not getting that to what is that twenty twenty nine? It's like God damn. Oh, you Probably didn't focus that last one, huh? I couldn't get into it. Yeah, it was like playing through like an animated like one of them Pixar movies, but I fucked with it. It was cool. I, I didn't it. have the nostalgia in me to motivate me to keep playing it. Oh, I know it's it's a good game. It's gotten great appraisal and reviews and shit like that, but. I don't necessarily care for that. Person. Yeah, like if you played enough of that game, like like the portal, like the multi-dimensional portal technology that was in that game, you see that's when you start seeing that stuff in the uh, Spider-Man. Did you ever get did you get far in Spider-Man too? Yeah, you can go to Antarctica. 
Back. Okay, yeah, you saw all that stuff. Okay, yeah, that's chasing that's black cat around. Just coming from, yeah. But yeah, no, hey man, they weren't playing. Uh, that does suck. They leak people's information and stuff, but at least we know we got something in the works on another X Men game. Because I don't think we've had an X Men game since X Men Destiny, and that was like 360 era. Remember that one where you got to create your um, own mutant kind of? You have to make your own mutant on there. Yeah. The one I think I remember is like Children of the Atom, or maybe it, it was, was it was like that. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, but it was X Men. That I feel like that was before that. I think the last oh, no, one was, OG X Men. Yeah, I think X Men Destiny was OG the last one. Yeah, yeah, X Men Destiny. I think is the last X Men game I can think of. But hey, we got some cool shit on the way though. So that's what's up. For sure. Um, speaking of of uh, shit not being on the way no more, Anthony Edwards, my boy. All right, man. I'm, I'm, out, I'm out here. I, I put you up for you today. Fuck that real. <laughs> Send the video. Hey, shout out to man, bro. I was on the fence about buying a pair of them shoes. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with them, but they only want 20. I'm, I got to get a pair, man. Oh. The, the AE ones. I got to. I feel like if you're the Timberwolves, you got to applaud this because it's just great to see your young player so locked in when you got people like Ben Simmons and Zion in the game just lacking dedication, lacking focus. Yeah, you got Anthony Edwards out here. Like, I don't want no baby. Yeah, especially with you, man. Like, hell no, nah, man. He, he sent that wire transfer over, and yeah. Oh man, hundred bands. He just signed a two hundred million dollar deal, man. He'll be good. He ain't hurting for that shit. And I also want to applaud the league's reaction to it because I feel like it. That's a conversation between two adults that it yeah. should happen before you know, like a child gets brought into the world and like. Then someone pulls a coward move and not being a father to their child. Um, have that conversation up front and be like, yo, man, no, nah, I'm not ready for a child. I don't want trying to have a child. We, you know, we weren't that. So I don't know why are we even trying to do this with me? Like, yeah, um, that just shows the show, man. Hey, man, it's these uh, when once you get into that lifestyle, you fresh athlete, or if you just got money like that, you're gonna be a target, man. And I'm we've seen the chick, I've seen that chick before. I remember seeing that chick like years ago. She used to be with uh. She was linked with like John Jones back in the day. I what? allegedly, yeah, she used to be like I allegedly she was supposed to be one of the chicks that John Jones was like putting her hands on his hands on like back in the day. Oh, she a freak. Okay, yeah. um, salute. But, nah, yeah, man. And then it's like, man, it's like, bro, like you just y'all y'all got to be smart, man. You can't just be wrong these IG chicks because you're a target man and they be trying to that that's their meal ticket, bro. A kid is a Come meal on, ticket. No, no. Dog, I see, and I, I don't like that angle because I feel like it's true though. I, my hold on, let, me, let me cook. Oh, let me you, you, let you me win. You you I'm a married man. I'm not in these streets, but I just know uh, my peers and brethren out there who have um, a lot less of a cushion in order to absorb risk like this, mm-hmm. but absolutely raw these same chicks. So, just, yeah, but like they if, probably wouldn't let us raw because it's like, well, I. But if I they got did, more money than him. Man, what? We, we, yeah, we hit IG. Mo- yeah, nigga, you think. I hit some regular chicks that make twenty five thousand dollars a year raw. I hit an IG model raw. What you talking about? So my, my point is, um, how much like an unexpected child may upset your current lifestyle, or that of not even got to even leave it on you. We could just talk about people out there that are out in these streets um, who are willing to have relations with folks that they don't have that much relationship with um, without protection, knowing that a child could devastate their plans. Oh, it's, versus, it's like, a terrible decision. Anthony Edwards can, a, can afford the risk. Yeah, like, yeah. So, why, so you're saying, why do we do it? Because we don't exactly. got Anthony Edwards. Yeah, well, don't tell him not to do it when yeah, y'all no. do it. Like, when this shit's way more devastating for you. No, nah, yeah. I don't know. I just, yeah. That's a good know. question, man. Exactly. That shit <laughs> yeah, good. No, like, yeah, man. Sometimes you don't want to, man. You just look at it. You be like, oh, I guess. God damn it. Yeah, I no. could stay home and fuck some plastic. Yeah, I could just man, I, man. Yeah. <laughs> you see what you Anthony Edwards was thinking? No, yeah, he, hey man, this hundred bands right now, uh, man, or whatever with this. You got this a max chick. contract and a shoe deal. It's like I'll, I'll give you a hundred rack. Yeah, my dude. issue, man, is these dudes, man. The they just want to, like, bro, they just want to mess with all these, uh, all these uh chicks that look the same, man, like. With, like I saw, like they showed a video of her like walking out of like a, out of, like an airport or a hotel or something, and she got the crazy BBL where like the legs hella don't match the ass, so it looks like it looks fucking disgusting. So it's like, man, dude, you guys got all this money, y'all need to go after like the y'all need to get the the Coco Jones, the Taylor Rooks, 
Get the Brandy sis. Sweeney's, the uh, Maria Taylor's, bro. Get get some of that, man. Y'all, do you think he's concerned how she looks with leggings walking out of the hotel lobby, bro? But like the shit doesn't even like when you see it, like it it's gotta look kind of. I don't know, man. Gotta, I see somebody say like maybe these downward guys. dog looking. Yeah, from the top down, like dog, but like you can judge how it looks, man. It can't look good if like the legs are so small and like you that, can't man. feel the legs from back there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't feel the leg. You don't give a fuck. Hey, man. All right. Hey, when you're right, you're right. I can't argue with you. You got a point. But it's like, nah, man. They just, it's like fucking Appreci- the chicks with the super fake plastic bodies that all got like the same, like, they got that Kardashian look, that racially ambiguous look yeah. where you don't know what a chick is. Like, yo, she could be half black, half white. This bitch could be Spanish. She could mm-hmm. be Indian. You don't know what she is. It's like, bro, y'all gotta, I gotta switch it up, man. The, the, the Mina Kunis with ass. That's crazy. The Mina Kunis with ass. <laughs> that's, that's, that's. Shout out to uh, Anthony Edwards, though, man. I will be copping a pair of the shoes. The AE1, the official podcast, uh, the shoe of this podcast. Look good, Send man. They look good. They do. We got to do a play test. We do. Um, Another we good uh, story that, that popped this week. Um, I know Rashard Mendehal has been like on a media tour. Um, and just talking a lot of places, but he dropped an all timer um, on Twitter. <laughs> Is Richard Mendenhall goaded for uh, creating ballers? Oh yeah, yeah. No, nah, his his contributions to the culture would not go ignored. And he has a great nickname, Juice Mendenhall. Anybody nicknamed Juice for the most part, solid individuals. Um, can't speak for everybody. Um, uh, but he said, "I'm sick of average white guys commenting on football. Y'all not even good at football." Uh, I'll just hold on. Um, I'm playing football. Y'all don't even good at football. Can you please replace the Pro Bowl with an all black versus all white bowl? Because these cats can stop trying to teach me who's good at football. I'm better than your goat. Hey, man, I feel them. If I was a professional athlete and, like, you know, I just see nothing but, like, like white dudes that weren't good. Probably I'd probably feel the way like they all they do is talk about it and talk about athletes and stuff like they were like nice. Like if I was a professional athlete and I see Trent Dilfer talking shit about people or Tim Hasselbeck, I'd feel the way. I get that. My my so oh, where my mind immediately went to when I read this um was sort of like the Dave Chappelle episode of the, the racial, the racial draft. draft. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then I know the contentious point would be the bar, the biracial brothers in the league. Notably, number one of all was going to be Patrick Mahomes. Like, do you if you get pick one one, you have to go him, no matter which side you are, right? Yeah, it's like what, it's, you got to ask him. Like, hey, <laughs> mixed niggas, what team do you want to play for? What do you? What if they don't get a choice? What if it's just like based on their 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 makeup? Like, they're, they're eligible for both teams. So, like, if the draft pick comes up, they can pull them. We'll be straight up and we'll get him. We can get Lamar. Yeah, we do have a good fallback. What's the White's yeah. fallback? For a quarterback? Burrow? Joe Burrow. Burrow? Joe Burrow or Herbert. Do you I, think I, Herbert I, goes before Allen? No, nah, I think Allen just because like he's more physically gifted, I feel like. Ain't Dak um, a 50-50 too? Yeah, Dak is a 50-50, yeah. Yeesh! The, you we got, got Lamar. Th- hey, C.J. Stroud, he black. Hey, man. Shout to hey CJ Stroud. The, we can win the game with CJ Stroud. Yeah, I think so. I agree. Because they don't got DBs. They're gonna be hurting. They're gonna have they could probably get Jesse Bates. They could probably get Honey Badger. I think Honey Badger. Um, but after that, I mean it's it's gonna thin out pretty quick. What are you talking about for them? Jesse Bates ain't mixed. Jesse Bates ain't mixed. He I think he's just light skin. I and know. I don't think Tyron Matthews like half and half either. I think he might just be yeah. like light skin like that. He might just be like like Terrence Howard light skin. Oh shit! Well, they just got Harrison. <laughs> yeah, bro. All and they got is Andrew Bernard. Yeah, exactly. They got Dewey and Harrison Smith, bro. This shit is cooked. I've been seeing people like, oh, what are, what are they gonna do? Uh, we got we got a uh, Bosa, Watt, and uh and Crosby. Like, okay, I'm gonna say we no, we might we might be a little rough at O line. I know I, we got bro. we got. Dogs, at we got the best left tackle here. in the league, though. Like, the best left tackle is a black guy with Trent Williams. We got two and, great tackles. Um, a Terrell Ter- Armstead, too. Yeah, and the uh, the dude from Tampa, he's been like an all pro since he made the league, Tristan Wirfs. So, I'm okay, not so worried about three. the edge rushers. Yeah, and then we, I know we got some centers and some guards. 
I can't think of him. I know Christian Darrisaw, he's in line to get paid from Minnesota. He's okay. good. Okay. Yeah. They might be straight. I think we'll be straight, bro. I think they just, they just kind of hyping them them three white edge rushers, bro. We got edge rushers too, my nigga. Nigga. No, we, we got. It, I'm saying there's not a spot where we can. I was just like the only one I, I, in my mind that I was thinking before was O line, like specifically interior. But you, you're naming some people now, so like I'm. I think I think yeah, it might be a solid all around. I'm telling you, bro. We straight, bro. Because like they talk about black punters too. Yeah, no, and we got a dog. We got a. I know they got Crosby, Watt, and Bosa, bro. We got Daniel Hunter, who last I think he was up there in sacks. Who need like first or second when we looked? He's top up? three right now for sure. Yeah. I think we got Daniel Hunter, that freak of nature, Miles Garrett, Michael, Michael Parsons. Parsons, and then you know fourth in line we, we Josh Josh Allen on the Jags, Von Miller if he's healthy. He still can't guard. Uh, yeah, he kind of got some bad shit going on with him right now. Oh, I forgot about football, 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 hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> We, <clears throat> yeah, we we ain't fucking with Von Miller right now. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> this is second time with like those allegations too. So, oh, you might, he might the shit. Yeah, he's in hell tier. But uh, yeah, nah, we'll be straight, man. Cause yeah, cause they don't got no DBs. Cause they, you see, you know how desperate they was when Will Compton was making that video. Oh, uh, we got we got Cooper Cup, and he said, I, I think we could take Puka Nakua. Like, bro, Puka Nakua is not a white man. What the fuck is what the fuck are they talking? About? They getting desperate already. He's a lion. I mean, he went to BYU, so I feel like he's kind of more. Dog, you see how desperate they already get? Like, bro, we got Jamar Chase, Tyree. I feel Kill, like they can Justin count him more than we can count him. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess, yeah. They don't Ooh. have them. At, they don't got no corners, and we got hella receivers. Like, oh, they're getting uh, fucked up. Because already, I mean, we might just run nine the whole game. Like, imagine trying to guard uh, Lamar and Tyreek on the same team. Yeah. That shit is hell. Bro, what? With Debo Samuel on the other side, just just for fuck, just for fun. Come on, man. With Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson, that's yeah. that's the four receivers right there. No. <laughs> they, they, yeah, McCaffrey's the best back in the league. Maybe the MVP candidate. Who knows? Yeah, honestly, they might they might want to have a uh, Brock Purdy a quarterback, bro. He's like what lead the league in touchdown and stuff right now, yeah. or is he second? Yeah. Dependable. Yeah, they might have to start pulling from other sports. Like they might have to bring back Goldberg and Brock Lesnar and shit. That's uh, hilarious. Money starts to be looking elsewhere. Finn Baylor play corner or something. That's funny. <laughs> Is Brock Party MVP to you? Um, I, I think Brock Purdy was correct in saying that um, it's Christian McCaffrey, mm-hmm. but I do understand that that is basically a quarterback's award at this point. So. It is pretty much now. He, I feel like Christian McCaffrey would like he probably have to do like some historic shit to win a running back. That's the next time. That's because what when AP did it, he was first. I know, like, he led his team pretty much to the playoffs because they had, like, Christian Ponder was their fucking quarterback. And yeah. I don't think they had, like, another 1,000-yard receiver. But, yeah, like, you got to do, like, some record-breaking shit. Yeah. And I don't think he's on – I don't think he's on track to rush for 2,000. No. Or no, to, like, no, no. I mean, record. the touchdown numbers are there, though. But Yeah, yeah the touchdown true. numbers are insane. He's, that he's boy not. gets in the end zone. But, nah, it, it, it probably is a quarterback award. It's between him and uh, – well, we just saw Dak probably just fuck it up a little bit because they just got smoked by the Bills. That's, yeah, that's I had Dak up until this week. But that, yeah. You can't lose like that. Yeah, you can't lose like that and get the award. You know what you can't lose like, though? 63-21. Yee! It's, it, I, do th- I do find it funny that our you know our third guy isn't here today. Follow real convenient, ain't it? <laughs> That's what I said. Then they're like, "Man, let me let me take the graveyard. Let me take the all. I need a twenty four hour work shift." Yeah, I I know the the place of business is not even open at these hours, but I'll be here because I don't want to be there. I want to be on that podcast. Dog, what? I think I saw. I because it, it was all in the game when that game was going on. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing like I think you told me they were up twenty one zero. I'm like, damn, it's twenty eight zero. Like, what the hell is going on? And then I seen like forty nine to seven. I was like, bro, what the fuck? And I you said it's like pick bro. six. Yeah, no, nah, that hey, that pick six was cold. That shit was fire. That, yeah, you you can't lose like that. You you called it. You say he's getting fired tomorrow morning. You can't lose yeah. like that, especially with like how they've been kind of underachieving and just kind of like the how we've been assuming that he was going to get let go already. And that team that has like. I feel like they're a talented team. Would you agree? They got some talent on that 1, team. 1,000% because we're going to get into what's going to happen with, like, what we think is going to happen with their, their front office and coach situation after this. Yeah. But, um, but nah, yeah, I hey. definitely think they're a talented team. I think they're not their pick of top coaches. 
because of the talent they have on their roster. Now they have cap issues, and um, they may have to lose a lot of that talent in order to be compliant next year. But yeah, I mean, teams teams that have an established QB one like Justin Herbert, yeah, it's not hard for them to find the next coach. Yeah, because coaches want to go there. Exactly. No question about what you're, you're walking into. You just gotta you just gotta put everything else around it. You gotta build the. You got the infra. So Justin Herbert's the infrastructure. I feel like they got their uh, they got their franchise quarterback and they got their franchise left tackle with uh, what's my man's name, Rashawn Slater. They yeah, got Slater, some. They yeah. got some building blocks there. Yeah. And I know they got the center like Corey Lindsley from free agency and Quinn they, Johnson. They he can catch like the Johnson pick for sure. They, that was wrong. They shouldn't have done that. He had a good game last game. This one. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, but yeah, he be kind of selling, but. Yeah, no, nah, that, that stinks. Yeah, they kind of fucked up that pick, especially when all the other receivers are kind of like definitely being better than him, especially with like how good Puka is. And I know uh, Zay Flowers has had a, a good Tank year. Tank Dell. Yep, Tank Dell's looking like a future star. It definitely sucks. They definitely just took the most physically gifted. Yeah, all because he's huge game. and fast. Like, yeah. Like, oh, my God, if he learns how to catch, he'll be a great receiver, which is something you should never fucking say. If he oh, if he had good hands, bro, whoo, he'd be a problem. Yeah. But you play receiving, you kind of need that already. So yeah. So what do you think the move is for them for the Chargers? Because I mean they fired Tom Telesco and Brandon Staley. Uh I know they'll never hire another black coach again. Um yeah. nah. Yeah, even Tyrell knows that. I think they gotta make the Belichick call, bro. Like if Belichick is available. Like you said, you also said it with the the commanders because we know Ron Rivera is he's getting canned. Ron Rivera is out of there, yeah. but yeah, you got to make the right right Belichick a blank check. You think it's for both jobs? I don't know if you want to give him the GM job because that shit has not been working out with the Patriots. But can you hire him and not give him that? If you have Probably. to, would you do it? I don't think you have a choice, honestly. If you're bringing him in, I don't think you have a choice. I think you yeah. have to offer him both of those jobs. And let him defer that option. He just yeah. be the head coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he un- undoubtedly easily the best coach of all time. So he don't have to keep coaching of, either. Yeah, I'm trying to think like what other like yeah. I think so, and this is one that I think people aren't talking about. Mike Tomlin. Not that Pittsburgh will necessarily get rid of him, but I think he might sit down and look at Pittsburgh's situation and be like, "Hey, we've had a good run. Um, I'm trying to win." I'm not really bowing out, but like this roster, like I don't feel like we're one or two pieces away. So I'm gonna let y'all get a, a chance for a clean restart. I'm gonna move on, and then maybe they end up trading him to the Chargers or something like that. But mm. um, I was listening to oh, the you can't trade for coaches. I'd be forgetting about that. Yeah, I was listening to the Athletic podcast last Friday, and uh, one of the dudes on there, he's like a former NFL front office guy, like a long time yeah. front office guy. Um, but he said he was like the national scout for the Chargers for ten years. And in those 10 years, like, he never had a conversation with anybody above him pertaining to football. Um, he said, like, it's, like, the least serious organization he's ever worked for. Oh, he wow. also worked for the Dolphins, like, when Nick Saban was there. And he said it's, like, the polar opposite, where, oh, like, shit. it was too fucking serious, yeah. um, where there was, like, never, like, a walkthrough practice. People were putting ankle tape on for everything. God, um, but so I think, like, the Chargers is, like, a culture shift. And the two guys who could probably do that would be, like, Belichick or um, Tomlin. Tomlin. Or I think um, this is a complete like dark horse, but Harbaugh, Harbaugh from Michigan. Yep, they're probably the three. I know Rex Ryan's name's gotten brought up a lot too, but I don't, I don't think he's the right guy for what they need necessarily. I do think he probably belongs back on the sideline at this point because yeah, he's never really had a bad defense. defense. I fucked with Rex. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He never had a bad defense, and like he, we, we saw Mark Sanchez be like ass for for years after that. I mean, he did enough to get the AC championship with him. So yeah, they would didn't they go to two AFC title games? Maybe it was two. Yeah. Yeah. I think he probably Ooh, that just defense was on some bullshit. Yes, it was. Yeah, having Cromarty and um Reva certainly helps a ton. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah, nah. The, the Jets ain't damn. I think I seen what the Jets got the longest playoff drought in the NFL now. I think it was in North American sports. Oh shit. Okay. It's uh, 13, 14 years, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ooh, that's crazy. The Kings got in last year, so they they ended that for them. Yeah, damn, that's crazy, bro. Thirteen years not making the playoffs. That's, yeah. It doesn't. The Mariners been back too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mariners definitely got back. Yeah. Shit, what's that? 
Ooh, we yeah, nah, it's, it's rough out here, man. That's why sports fandom is dumb, man. I don't know why we sign up for this shit. It's ridiculous. It's silly. It's dumb, but it, it, it it's the best. Sports yeah. are literally the greatest thing ever. Yeah, expect big splashes from the Chargers. If they hire Kellen Moore, they are not serious about winning football games. Respectfully, he has the resume that probably deserves some head coaching shot at this point, but they should look themselves in the face and realize that that franchise does not need a first time head coach as their head coach. They need um, a culture shifter. Yeah, but if like you can't get Tomlin or or uh, any of those guys we mentioned, then like who do you bring in? I feel like you kind of got to look at. I guess it obviously like. Herbert's your um, your franchise, so he's got to have like some. You want his input, you know? I think the enemy probably be my pick. I was th- I was wondering if like if Washington would want to give him the look at like being their head coach. Okay, but if, if you're him, would you rather coach Washington as head coach, or would you rather coach the Chargers? If I look at the Chargers on paper, what they have is more comparative to what San Francisco had. Or not my fault. Yeah, never mind. I don't know why I said that because I was thinking that he was in San Francisco using Kansas City. So no, nah, yeah, it's yeah because you got you got like your superstar potential, potentially like superstar quarterback, yeah. and like you're gonna have like some weapons there. Do it all uh, halfback. Well, he's um, probably gone after this year. Eckler kind of Eckler might be booty cheeks. Damn, um, I w- I thought he was gonna have a breakout year. Remember Tyrell said if he rushed for 1,500 yards, he'd eat a shoe. I do remember that. Yeah, I don't even think he's. I don't even think he has like seven, eight hundred yards on the season. <laughs> It'd be a shame if somebody took him in the first round of the fantasy draft. Real shame. Um, but no, I mean, yeah, Keenan Allen, he's getting up there in years. He's still really productive, obviously. Um, so that's got to be appealing to a um, head coach coming in. Um, the tight end spot, so Gerald Everett. And, and, and Donald Parnum, yeah. Donald Parnum, um, it looks like Camille, Khalil Mack is probably going to have to go this offseason for cap compliance reasons. Yeah, he's playing. He's playing. He's having a good year. He's he's fine. Yeah. Um, but so you can't. Both is always uh, hurt. Uh, safety, he don't be doing shit. I swear. Derwin James. Yeah, he don't be on shit. Yeah, it's so crazy because like, bro, he look like the best football player ever, and I feel like I, he just might be kind of mid now. You fucking disappearing. Yeah. At least he got paid. Ooh. Uh. How many yards do you think Austin Eckler has on the air? 827. 506. Okay, all purpose though. How many receiving? All right, let's... Now I gotta go to this fucking page on ESPN. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 400. But that would mean he's like close to a thousand all purpose. Yeah. Are we close to he double? He has three hundred and seventy-three okay, receiving about 400. yards. About four hundred. He's yeah, no Danny Woodhead, you know. Yeah, so we got eight hundred and eight hundred and seventy-nine yards all purpose on the year. F I T D. So I definitely thought he got some work to do. And uh shout out my ball niggas, man. But uh yeah, no, nah, he kind of stinks. He's definitely gonna be gone. Yeah, they got some work to do, man. It's rough. Yeah, uh, in the like I said, the, the, the tweets that were highlighting the cap situation too, they make that um, it's kind of a grim situation over there. But you you've always got the allure of like, hey, we're in LA, we're in a brand new stadium, um, and we have the quarterback already. So yeah, nice jerseys be enough too. To bring, yeah, enough to bring some people over there. So yeah, nice jerseys. You're gonna look good while playing. You want to look good. Yeah, you're you look fly. Might have some replacement players out here. But it's gonna yeah. <laughs> not it's gonna be yeah, they're, I feel like they're always just gonna gotta be second fiddle to the Rams because especially like the Rams having a history of already being there before too. I'm gonna tell you this though: when the Rams moved back to LA, I did not think that they were as close to a title as they were. I didn't that's think so surprising. Yeah, when the, when Jeff Fisher was the coach and they were like playing out of USC and shit like that, I was like, oh no, this team's terrible. Like when they got Jared Goff at, yeah. at first, I was like, damn, they they stink. Yeah, that first year Jared Goff was bad, but yeah, once they got Jeff Fisher out of there and. What's my man? Not Shanahan. Uh, McDaniel's. Not McDaniel's. What's my man's name? Um, I don't know. He takes steroids for sure. Oh, Shaq no, just I'm... fell into the tree again. Oh shit! Shaq fell into a tree. Yeah, into the Christmas tree in the present. What's my man's name? The Rams coach. Uh, Sh- McVay. Sean McVay. Sean McVay. McVay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nah. 
he he had Jared Goff look like a goddamn pro bowler. Shit, Jared Goff's been pretty good since then. Yeah. He's been cooking with um Matt Detroit. Stafford too for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, Matt Stafford's having a good year. They got some damn weapons over there. They got a goddamn superstar wide receiver in like the sixth, seventh round with Puka. Puka's fucking nice. But this shit is absurd. Yeah, nah. It is what it is. But yeah, uh fuck the Chargers. Uh they got smoked by they they got 50 balls almost. I wanted them to put up 70 so bad. I wanted them to god damn it. I was like, bro, they could not score. I need 70 0. Dog, I got I got beat 56 to 0 in Devontae Antonio's Madden League. My team is the Raiders. I don't know how the fuck they got 63 points in real life. Well, they got a pick six. Damn, no Josh Dude. Jacobs didn't play that game either. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, the Chargers fucking stink. God damn. <laughs> Her ass. You're a defensive he, head coach and you nah, come on. Yeah, bro. It ain't no Connell. Yeah, come on. Uh, come on, G. Yeah, nah, man. Hey man, shout out to the Raiders, man. Um Wait, Tommy DeVito's yeah. agent. You got some takes on him. Oh, bro. I I feel like they've I feel like media is kind of been kind of overdoing it with the Italian thing. Cause I feel like every little little mini, like I see clips of him. It's always having to do with like 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 just like some Italian shit. It's like okay, that's cool, whatever. It's a good little feel good story. But it's like, bro, like he's playing good. Like let the focus on him being like you know coming out of nowhere, not expecting to play at all, and how he's playing. He's been playing okay, not just oh I, he's he's eating ravioli before games and all this other shit. And they're showing all like uh he's been getting uh not like sponsorships, but like you know he's been doing little deals with other like Italian restaurants and area and all this stuff. And then I feel like his agents like. You you've been seeing the picture of it. He got the goofy ass hats on and the ugly ass character. suits. Yeah, he's, he's it, it's, it's it's a lot of character. It's like, all right, man. Lotto. Yeah, it's like bro, I feel like they're kind of running the Italian shit into the ground. So I guess there, there was a report yesterday that said he got into it with somebody with management. It was like, yo, man, can you guys cut it out with some of the Italian shit and all this other stuff? Then that shows like uh the article we uh I pulled up from uh, what was that a complex? Sorry, pull it up real quick. This is no, this is the it's pro football talk in BC Sports. Yeah. Uh, so did did he can his agent? I think I had read, but I know um, they said they want to focus more on football and not just like you know the the Italian shit. Because you know the last game they was playing when you guys uh killed him literally on the field and took his head off. He had like the bright ass green suit, you know. So I'm like, bro, he's trying to be seen. It's kind of it's, they're kind of running this shit into the ground. So he's still his agent. He just he just um. He shifted his duty. He's not responsible for like his engagements with businesses at this point. He yeah. gave that to somebody else at the agency, I guess. Yeah. Um, for his off-field endorsement stuff. Okay. Cause I was reading in that because I read some of that article and they said uh he tried to he originally was supposed to do like a deal with a restaurant or something like that, or an for appearance. Pizzeria, or something. And then he like yeah. um he had a good game and they won, and then he wanted to double back and try to get more money. I, yeah, I got a bone to pick about that because people be saying reneged all the time. That's fucked up. That's racist. It's not reneged. It's reneged. Like as a rene- renegotiated, mm. fucks. Not <laughs> mm. drop the knowledge, Blake. I never yeah, knew that. Was like, yeah, man. But either things, way, man. yeah, the agent like it's supposed to be um for ten racks, but he backed out and he doubled the price on the on the pizzeria. The, the old agent did. So yeah. Tommy's trying to actually like stand by what he says and shit like that. Get this uh this man off of it. It's greasy. I can't fit it. Uh, that's crazy. Um, but yeah. Um, I, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like part of it is like self brought on because he'd be doing the hand shit to celebrate. He, he do be doing it, yeah. And I see yeah. you guys were doing that when y'all was fucking killing him. Yeah. So it's like, come on, like if, if that's his shtick, and like he's he's standing on that North Jersey, all that type of shit. Like, um, you, how you expect like Fox and the NFL and all these people when they run these graphics. To not be putting like the fucking like pizzeria tablecloth and shit up there and everything like come on you know what they about to do they run you know time it is kind of like the uh, like they running the damn uh, the Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift? Ground. like I'm getting tired of that shit but oh my hey God. man it is what it is I'm not gonna say nothing bad about her I don't want that kind of smoke no hey man shout out to the Swifties man I know I do I have seen like uh like video clips where they was at the uh. It was a basket. It was an NBA team. They got off the uh, plane. And they were absolutely, like, hey, what's you guys' uh, favorite Taylor Swift song? And they were like, no, it's no damn Taylor Swift. And it was like, I ain't got none. And like, people were kind of surprised on the internet about it. But I'm like, man, you got to think about it. These are like, it was like younger guys too. So like, you can come out of, the, you can come out, what, one and done in 
I want it done out of college. So it's like it's a bunch of it's like young niggas. So from like 19 to 23, and you ask them if they listen to like Taylor Swift. Like, what the hell would you, you name one? I don't know any Taylor Swift music. We're not her target demographic. That's you don't know any? Like. I don't know any songs. Like, I can't name a Taylor Swift song. You don't know Bad Blood. That's the one I, I know. know. It's Kendrick on that. I don't know that song. I've heard I, they had a song game. I've never listened to it. Yeah, I, just I, feel know, like, I remember when the video dropped. Like he was spitting on me. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's not our uh demographic. And I've seen people say, like, yeah, like it's just uh I don't know that cruel summer. It's they said Taylor Swift music seem it seems white, white to me. And it's not like cool white that like our parents used to listen to back in the day when like white people was like uh they like the crazy hair and there's a bunch of like synth noises and like Tina Marie and shit like that, you know, like like Tina cool, Marie's like, white. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. The um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's just like man, I don't know. It just it's just like ah, that's not for me. I ain't hate it though. I I don't, I've never heard of her being like no bad person or nothing. It's just, yeah, I'm just, not a fan of pop music in general. So yeah, I ain't listening to that shit. Huh. All right. Um, what's going on with Adam Twenty Two? It's your boy. Oh Favorite yeah, nah, that's hip hop hey, man. Well, so what was it? Crit Max Slock is he? He's in. I'm guessing he's has he, he got jammed. court and all that stuff yet? Yeah, I know he's got a jam. So okay, he, so yeah, Crit Mac. Okay, so Crit Mac was out on probation and parole. I don't really know which one. Whatever, whatever one suspended to this type of shit where you got let out, but if you fuck up, you're going back in and doing the rest of your time. His initial charge was because he got caught with a weapon on him. He yeah. was supposed to have one after already being a felon and shit like that. Yeah. Um, and he got caught this time with a ghost gun. So now it's like big boy time. Um, and I guess like at his trial or whatever, people were, were doing like character references and appearances speaking on his yeah. behalf. Adam didn't show. Um, and people feel like he he should have been expected to show. I don't know everyone else who did show. Like, I don't know if the dude from Channel 5 News came. I imagine China Matt came because they're business partners, and they'd be standing next to each other all the time. Yeah. But like I don't know who else came and who didn't come. Um, Do you think it's fucked up that he didn't show? No, because that in that clip, there's a video they had a uh, whack one hunters talking to him and saying like, "Yo, I think you should," and this is why. And there was like another guy that's mm-hmm. so it's two people, it's whack one hundred and a another black dude, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, man, that's your man, whatever. He's supposed to be his homie and all that stuff. Like, yo, you could just do this, and then he he's pretty much just saying like. Why would I do that? Like, if you look at my schedule, I'm booked all week and all that stuff. And he's like, man, that's dude, like, so you don't think he, uh, I don't, I think that's a poor excuse. If he said, cause I'm booked, that's a poor excuse. You should say, um, exactly what it is. Like, no, it's like no, our relationship. Yeah. We're cordial. We're business. Like I, he comes up here and, um, he's, he's blowing himself up on this platform. Um, I've enjoyed having him here, but ultimately it's like, Mac does a lot of other interviews that people don't talk about where he doesn't talk as politically correct as he does on No Jumper, where mm-hmm. he does diss his enemies, where he does like say things about different communities like that that they won't allow you to do on No Jumper. Um, so it's it's pretty clear to me that at least like, yeah, Adam was like kind of riding those coattails and using him for publicity the same way Mac was using No Jumper for publicity. Yeah, But it doesn't necessarily mean that I got to go stand by you, even though just because No Jumper is like probably the biggest platform of the ones that Mac will go to. Yeah, um, for sure. People feel like he might owe him something, but it's like you can't expect that just because this has a bunch of polarity and gets a lot of eyes on it over here more than like the Cam Capone shit does or something. Like, yeah, did, did, did I they thought asked they were kind of like, cool. I thought they might have been like actually like friends, maybe. Because I feel like they even kind of they, they he's talked about it. Like they'll they'll text and shit like that. But like, Crit Mac is um, and I, if I'm if I'm misdiagnosing, if I'm wrong about this, if I have the wrong information, I apologize to all the people in that community who have this shit. But I'm pretty sure he's bipolar. So, oh yeah, I assume that. I know something's wrong with the nigga. Look at the nigga. That's so. It's like, yeah, you might, you might be able to text him a couple times, and say like, "Ha ha," shit like that. But it's like, it, it's. I, I would be very surprised, like, if Adam, being um, a father, a husband, a dude, like when he's not on the camera, whatever camera, because he'd be on some wild ass cameras. <laughs> no, <laughs> when he's yeah, at the house true. in his leisure time. I'm pretty sure his leisure time activities do not line up with Crit Max. Yeah, so that's what I'm yeah. saying. The friendship shit probably don't come in yeah. like that. Like, there's people who come into like, let's say our PlayStation party shit like that that I've probably talked to multiple times. But if they were going to court, I would not go to court for them. Like, oh yeah, for sure. There's some people I want. There's some people I want. It just depends on how you like talk to people. Yeah, I mean, everybody's relationship with somebody else is different. So you know, if our lives don't line up for more than just this game. Then like, I'm probably like, 
we're probably just homies on the game. Like it's yeah, you're not. That's pretty much yeah. what it is. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's like yeah. you got to put people in the boxes where they belong. Like yeah, the wildest fuck going in that courtroom. Yeah, no, nah, that's probably wild in that courtroom. Honestly, like people, yeah, I just I thought it was kind of fucked up, but I guess if, like if it's just like just business really, and they're not really friends, then I guess you I guess you can't. Would why would I expect him to go? You know, speak up for Crip Mac and try to get a judge to like be a good character reference. Like, hey, you know, I've helped employ this guy, whatever. I've done such and such, and I can vouch for his character, and he's messed up. But like, if it's just business straight like that, and you just using niggas for game clicks and stuff, and like, I from what I understand, like Adam's actual homies that be up there kind of regularly, it's it's just Desto, um, and probably like O three Greedo, like them the two that I bet he'd go to court for. But yeah. Other than that, I mean, everyone else is kind of just it's business. Yeah. That, hey, man, that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all y'all need to stop being ready to crash out and jump out the uh, window, man. We're just using y'all for clicks, man. But, but, you but can't just like we talked about on that other one, it's like like we said, like, Crip Mac does other interviews. Oh, Don yeah. Cotton and Cam Capone were not probably in that courtroom. I so it's like, why are y'all expecting Adam to be there? <laughs> why are you expecting the white savior to show up? When the black people do the same thing that Adam I think does just because that's the biggest platform and that's what I know him from because I yeah. wouldn't know who Crit Mac is unless it was like seen it with like no jumper shit. Some would say the channel five one, the two that he's done with them are probably bigger than what he's done in No Jumper. Because I, I think views wise, they probably are have more views. He's just been mm. on more jumper more than he's been on the other places. Okay. See. Yeah, and then like, I'm not really like too tapped in that shit. I don't really cause I know no jumper from Pretty much like you, honestly. And that's why I like I check out the clips sometimes here and there, like depending on who they have on. And then like, yeah, and then that's how cause I don't I check out the uh what's the people that left the back on fix shit? I check out that shit sometimes. It depends. Like they had schoolboy Q on there. I, I did listen to some of that. I did listen to like some of the the, the Greedo shit when they had Greedo on there. Yeah, you know, yeah I mean they, the TF's like a regular up there. I know you fuck with him. Um I wanna say I they T F TF's are. It might have had Jay Worthy in there. I don't know. Hey, for sure. TF's hey, TF's album he put out last month was hard. Yeah. Hey, AD had a dope verse on uh on Problems album. Problem dropped the album. I was about to say YG. Oh no no no. Well, he <laughs> was on a YG project. Yeah, him and Brick were on a song together. Don't come to LA. Oh yeah, I know. That. It's like the intro. Yeah, but nah, yeah, that uh, yeah, AD yeah, he had a fire verse in there. He smoked that shit. Yeah, the out of twenty two saga continues. Uh, more weird Is shit on the way, Crip probably. Till it's backwards or no? I don't know. I uh, like I said, he's one person <laughs> on camera, but he's really about the shit that's on his forehead and the shit that he be saying. I know he be saying a lot of funny stuff. I enjoy the clips. Uh, I enjoy when he says "me and my homeboys" uh, and "buddy whaty" and shit like that. It's it's funny. It's funny, but um. Yeah. Yeah, wild nigga, man. He's an actual menace to the black community that he lives in. I don't really mind if he's locked up. Sorry. Just like, I mean, hey, we can move on more people got locked up this week. You're one another one of your favorite people, Charleston White. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like saying <laughs> this, man. Demon hey, gone. <laughs> we got some applause on the soundboard or anything. You got no applause or no uh I did. You got the cue up the Jay-Z Rock Boys. Play that. Yeah, salute that. I don't Damn. like uh, you know. You know, I, I love black people. You know, I, I hate to say that. You can play something crazy. Oh, you want you want these? Hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this nigga went ham on the saxophone, bro. I want to meet who was playing the saxophone for that that Valvina shit. But nah, man, I hate to say a black man needs to be in jail because we all need to be free. But hey, man, he is a. Uh, he is a hazard to our community, and I don't like the way he talks about people that look like us. And I know he'll say like some wild shit just for like clicks, and that's how the the entertainment clout game is now. And I've I've heard him say on clips like, "Oh, I was getting attention when I was doing stuff for my community, and you know, just being cool, or whatever." So if I go say this negative thing, people uh, go out and look at it, and I get these clicks, and that brings more attention to me. Then I can go like try to, you know, that people always say, "Oh, you gotta you gotta put the medicine with it so people can digest it and consume it," you know. Yes, but I think that's bullshit. Especially when you say like a lot of like, like just destruct. He says a lot of destructive shit. To like, because I, I know I've, you've had this stance with him for a long time. So, can, do you off top? Do you have like some of like the more problematic things that like come to mind when you think of him that he said that like gets you riled well, up? It's like when like when rappers get killed and stuff. I don't like when he just be like like 
laughing and celebrating like, oh, he was a serial killer. They want to do all this stuff in the black community. So why shouldn't I celebrate when he takes out one of them? Because he could have killed one of me or my family. Vaughn, or that, was a, like that. that was a big one. Yeah, like that shit. Lot, yeah. Uh, when rappers go to jail, he be saying stuff. I just, I don't like the way he talks about black people, bro. It's just, it's nasty. It's high level. It's high level coonery at its finest. And I hate it, bro. And then, like, I know, like, uh, he's, like, said, like, some nasty shit about, uh, oh, uh, he said something about, like, oh, man, it was, like, when, like, the uh, the whole Asian hate shit was, come, like, kicking off whatever on, like, okay, social yeah. all that stuff. He was talking about, uh, some of them they need to be graped and like killing them and all he was saying some wild shit that you can't see on the internet because we've we've had this conversation before. I'm like, bro, I'm surprised he's still on the internet because he's talked about like you know, he said stuff about Jewish people, yep, and the LGBTQ community and all that stuff, like some nasty shit. And mm-hmm. I just don't like it. It's like first, like, yeah, this shit, he's just a shitty person to me. And like, yeah, and I'm I'm glad he got jumped at his show last week. Did you see that clip when them dudes uh it was, a, it was a bad jumping. It was a bad jumping. It was a bad jumping, but somebody got some licks in on him. That was like, yes, finally. After that frail ass old man with one eye and his face was fine the next day, like, yeah, well, no. you gotta. Yeah, they 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 didn't get no good licks in like that. Uh-uh. Yeah, man. Nah, I, I hate Charleston White, bro. He's not funny. He's corny. He's a coon. And I think he fucked up this time, man. Because you can you can say like it's sad. This is how the world is. But like you can you can harm you can harm people that look like us. But these white people don't play about their animals, bro. I think he's for the do some time. No, they do not. Yeah, nah. Damn. To go down to animal cruelty when you call it's, black people animals is kind of funny. Bro, yeah, like fucking, yeah, dog. He be calling us animals and all kind of like savages and all kind of like crazy shit. Like a lot of it's like trolling, but it's like, I feel like, yeah, I don't I'm know. Not, it's nasty. I'm not going to lie, though. Like, um, I for sure, like, I agree with your character assessment of that man. Like, he he's I think I think he's a poor character. And even if like he's a yeah, shooter. he was on some positive community activist shit prior to him going viral as his current character. Um we know you for your current character. So like if I'm judging you off that, like I don't think you're necessarily a positive person. But and that's not to say like people, dog. That's what I'm saying. That's not to say he's never said anything that I that I do agree with though. Because I I think I've brought up on here before. Um and again, like I'm a complete hypocrite on this, but I, I do think it's just kind of wild, like the shit that we will um listen to and get excited for inside the music that yeah um, permeates to our community. Mm-hmm. Um, the people who make that music, the actions that they do, um, the fact that we give them points for that, uh, versus like if we find out they're not actually real and they're just like WWE with the raps, yeah, um, for sure. We take points away. I think all of that shit is crazy, and I feel like he he is loudly saying exactly that a lot of the time, but he's also saying a lot of the shit that you just brought up too. That is incredibly problematic and doing it in a fashion that is uh, not cool. I know one of the, the, the bigger things though, that I did agree with him on is that how much people would just um, casually make fun of uh, Tuka from Chicago um, mm-hmm. dying. And that like the fans of those rappers would play along with that shit too. Yeah. It's like, that was like a 13 year old kid. It's I like, didn't know that until you told me that. Yeah. Insane. Like, yeah. yeah. That's not right, man. Yeah, but um, it, it don't it don't exonerate you from the other All fucked up shit that you shit said. Shit. Like, yeah, and of course, like it's not gonna stop, bro. From not can, hurting animals either. So he could go feed uh two million homeless niggas right now, bro. I'm like, okay, that was dope. Shout out to you, but you're still a shitty person, and you're going to hell, and you're about to be in jail. They about to have you pig and cotton, my boy. You be talking about niggas and slaves and all kinds of stuff. They about to have you pig and cotton in Texas, bro. You're going. Yeah, he ain't got no guns in jail. I'm sorry, you got to... <laughs> He's yeah. got these, my brother. Yeah, like, like Craig's daddy said, we had these. Yeah, man. He got to put his dick beaters up. But yeah, <laughs> animal cruelty charge and two charges with a aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. And it's like, so I don't know what he tried to do with the weapon, but like, you can't snitch on an animal. So who's he going to snitch on? It's like, you're about to do some time. Mm-hmm. You might be going to jail. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, at worst, he'll, he'll, he'll have to probably limit his travel for a little bit. Yeah. Um, We'll see. Lock his ass up. But yeah, him. nah. Don't free him. Keep him. Hashtag keep him. Yeah, uh, yeah. He don't he don't got a he don't got an album I want to hear. So unlike Jeffrey, I don't I don't care if he gets out <laughs> Yeah, nah. Fuck Charleston White, dude. Man, I hate that nigga, man. Uh you got the worst food item ever created on here. Is this this is the Tower of Pain, I'm guessing from earlier. 
Yes. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put this up on here. I didn't even hear the audio on this when I watched it before. Already, I'm I'm not trusting. If you hand me a cone-shaped pizza, an inverted cone-shaped pizza, I'm already on the ropes here. Here, y'all. What is this? Is this a flower holder? Where do you get that? Yes, yeah, I've seen those at like restaurants before. What those was it? Things. Fries? Yeah, fries or something like that. Yeah, yeah, like fries. Yeah. Okay. Fettuccine. You got the fettuccine inside the pizza, inside the fry holder. It's a it's a cone shaped fry holder, and you just laid a big ass like crab claw on top of the, the pile of everything. Crab is dipping in some type of garlic butter sauce that appeared. You get a lot more than you think, y'all. Yeah, let's do this. This nigga smiling too much, bro. He high. Smiling way too much. Niggas putting gumbo. Oh uh, no, nah, that's straight out the can. Look, the fed- the Alfredo sauce got no specks of seasoning in it. Yeah, it looks like there's someone about. I think my computer just dusty. My screen just dusty. Nah, bro. He just poured white sauce on top of my crab claw cone out fettuccine tower. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, this was a lot of fun. Look at that fucking mess. How are you bringing that to the table? Come on, bro. Brooklyn pizza. That is not pizza. If I see that woman eating that, bro, nah. If a woman, if I took a woman out to, I'm sure it's probably a nice establishment if that's on the menu. It's like, bro, like, nah, bitch, you're paying for this yourself. Let's not leave things a mystery. Let's go check out, check them out on Google. Oh shit! Yeah, bet. Um, Brooklyn Pizza, one on one Jefferson Avenue, Avenue. Shout out <laughs> oh, you from you from Baltimore? Shout out to all my Baltimore niggas. Avenue on a Tuesday. Hey, if Javante Davis ends up fighting uh, Haney, he's gonna fuck Haney up, bro. Yeah, it's not looking good for him. Yeah, I, Javante Davis might. He, I don't think he's the one to play with, man. Um, damn, they don't even got a Google page. They shut it, bro. They're serving shit like this. You think this is just a video? This can't be on the menu, right? It is. Oh, shit. No, this shit is bad. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit. Look at this. They got another one. Oh, fuck. I don't got one to sign into, but I guess these cone pizzas are their thing, though. This is the one you you just shared. But yeah, they look that looked like some type of penne noodle with like shredded beef on top of it inside a cone pizza thing. Um, that looked fire the cookies and cream milkshake. I'll, I'll yeah, fuck that, that up. That doesn't fire. I'll, I'll be hurting afterwards. But yeah, no, that this is a cone pizza with um fettuccine noodles, shredded beef, and pizza inside the cone pizza. So these niggas not they know most of us are like lactose intolerant, right? Why are niggas making stuff like this? Do niggas just want to like <laughs> fuck their stomach up? They put black owned first line too. I don't know. Nah, this is this, this is Cointail Pro, bro. This is, and this is uh, Theodore from uh, Hardball. RFP. He, he's dead. <laughs> he died in the movie. He's trying to run his ass badass across that lot. Wow, you stupid. <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't I die. Was... I think he got jumped. G Baby died. Yeah, yeah, G-Baby's one that got clapped. They made them yeah. projects in Chicago look fucking terrible. They had big-ass yeah. concrete pipe sitting in the yard. Like, what were those for? Bro, like yeah, like, lot. yeah, you hear about some of these places being bad when you're younger. Then you, like, get older and you know you hear about people going from there, like, like living in there and, like, from there. And it's like, damn, so these places are really, like, way worse than you can imagine. It's like, bro, how the fuck? That's why I do things like, bro, like, some people really do have to, like, overcome, like, some real shit to, like, get out of these places. The way they talk about what, what them towers were in Chicago before they tore them down, like yeah, nah. If you like, if you made it out, like you got a story to tell. Nah, yeah, bro. You, I feel like if you eighteen and you like graduate, whatever. I feel like you deserve like seventy five thousand dollars, and then yeah, you can get the fuck up out of yeah. here. If you end up being the manager at Best Buy, like you done made it. Just like, gee, you out of here, bro. I'm telling you, man. Yo, I know. I, that's why I will never fight Buddy, dude. Dog, Buddy's a Chicago nigga that chooses to live in Gary, dog. <laughs> He's the scariest nigga we know. I'm telling you, man. Be Buddy's, comfortable and happy as fuck everywhere. Bro, Buddy's always smiling, bro. I'm telling yeah. you, man. He, a Chicago nigga that chooses to live in Gary, he's not one to be played with, man. Look, y'all will not believe the first week this brother was a mailman, he ended up at a cookout on his route. Bro. And he, I, you, uh, we, you, you ever be seeing any of his videos, like the neighborhoods he be delivering in? 
No, I mean, just when you used to put them in the chat and you'd like walk by a car and be like, hey, bullet hole here, bullet hole here. I'm like, oh, no. shit. <laughs> like, bro, you deserve hazard pay, man. This shit is crazy. Yeah. Like, dog. Came home with a plate. Like, he'd be doing the most. Dog, buddy, man. buddy, for real. Like, he probably got the makeup of a politician. Like, of an actual, like, good politician. Like, he was like a city councilman or some shit. I mean, yeah, you can go or high as like, you want, but mayor? I just feel like. If he ran like a lot of people Gary? probably would like fuck with him as a neighbor. Dog, what if, he, if he runs for like mayor of Gary in like 20 years from now, that'd be fire. Hell yeah. And hey, being the mayor of Gary would be kind of hard. Like, nigga, I feel I'm like the you mayor. gotta know how to fight. You gotta really like you gotta roll like, some sleeves up. Probably like, nigga, I'm the mayor of the city where for where Michael Jackson is from, nigga. And, yeah, that's hard. Folks. Yeah. Well, who's from Gary? Well, Freddie Gibbs? And uh, you know, the Jackson family. Oh, oh, one more. The Habib Show legend. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Have don't look class. that up. <laughs> you are an idiot. For family, fucking don't do not look that up. Leave that where it is. I'll say a Johnson's Cabaret legend. How about that? You are stupid. Um, I had Wait, some other are items. You, are you talking about somebody? I thought you was talking about a uh, natural. I'm, Oh, I thought you talk- okay. I thought you talking about somebody else. Who else? Yeah. You know, who's on the Habib show? <laughs> no, okay. when you said that, because uh, they said my man's that uh, my man's that got choked out and killed by the police. Uh, what? That, that Stephen Jackson. He was on. They said he was on an episode of the Habib show. Somebody. I didn't know that. Twitter. Uh, I'm not gonna go yeah. look it up either. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. What's my man's name? R.I.P. Man. Uh, George Floyd. George Floyd. Yeah, that's how I thought you were. Yeah, about. Georgie. Okay, I got some other items for uh for your your peer review on the worst food item ever list. Um, hold on, I'm gonna share this. Oh, one. we'll save that for next week when Tyrell's back. Remember, I, I uh I brought up to you uh we was playing the game the uh what was like each state's like most uh porn searched. Most search. Yeah, hey. I found hey. that. I found uh what video game is searched the most on Pornhub. And like what characters, like fictional characters, are searched most on there? We'll we'll revisit that once Tyrell is back. Did you ever end up looking up the Apex parody on there? I think it was before like the purge though, so it might not be there no more. No, I didn't look that up. That shit was hilarious. It was really well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I'll look it up later. I know it's got to exist somewhere now. Oh All yeah, right, else um, is on the internet. It's on the internet forever. Yep. Uh, hold on. Here we go. So Oops, I'm gonna need your your opinion on these. You were you were dying here. I'm refreshing. These are the legs and tails of some of the iguana that we just. Oh talked. hell no! The tail when it gets bigger like this. But me personally, I don't like it a whole lot. Either way, I'm gonna prepare. Hell, it hell no! Already. It looks like. So, look at the ass. Cut though. off their feet so that they literally just have like chicken legs. My man's if my man's slicing the claws off iguana legs right now. Godzilla, do not watch this shit. Uh, trust the Godzilla, process. Okay. The next step is to put your knife through its skin like this. Yeah, no, bro. <laughs> There's like certain animals I just won't eat. If this was, if the, uh, when you see the finished product, not how we have oh, the yeah, plate, but just yeah. the iguana piece on its own, I I don't know if I would be able to say no. Oh, and it's got the eggs. I already don't fuck with eggs. Tell me that. Don't uh, look well, good no, that's right. how they make chicken though. Dip it in some panko breadcrumbs. Fried chicken. Yeah. I'm watching that part. This yep, pan okay, has never had them, so much iguana in it. You got fried iguana? Oh hell no! The plate, the plating is wild because he plated on top of some iguana heads, so the shit looks nice. But the pieces themselves were like just breaded, sort of looking like um, not necessarily chicken tenders, but you're out. That's, no, I'm not eating that. Big out. All right. Uh, What's the next one? All right. Would you eat that? No. If somebody told you we got this fried iguana legs, would you eat it? If they weren't played on top of the head and it was just like in a food truck of stand, and yeah. I could just get one, I'd take a bite. Yeah, I see, I see what's up. I would take a bite. Okay, I, I yeah. could take a bite, but I'm not. I'm not ordering that. That plate, how he had it set up at the end, nah. That's got to be a crime. That can't be sanitary. No, they're they're pests in um, Florida, so you don't even need a license to hunt them. If you see them in a tree, you just kill it. Well, I'm just talking about like just, it's a fucking iguana head. Like that can't be like. There's got to be some nasty shit on it. Like, oh, this. Okay, th- so this one is more so under the next one about the show is under the category of what probably what Zion had from his pregame meal. Uh, the, so the uh, uh, Grizzlies, so you'll see. Right. 
tight, guys. Look at that beauty. The whole pizza in the, the burrito. Garlic right there. Now, that's now he's coating the outside of the, the burrito, uh, the pizza burrito with, with butter. And we're gonna roll Parmesan it. cheese onto the tray. Parmesan. Gonna roll the butter go. pizza burrito in the Parmesan cheese. Everybody is so creative. Beautiful. Now check this we out. ain't done yet. We got a pan of pepperonis that was in the oven, so they got grease in here. We're gonna pour that grease into the mayonnaise bottle. Then now I'm gonna shake the mayonnaise bottle up. Bow, aioli. Into the oven, guys. You're gonna love it. You gotta bake this with the cheese crispify. Yes, sir. Good, good, good center cut right here. Still just a pizza in here. Put the aioli on top. Pepperonis right there. No, this pepperonis in there. Oh, what? Prayer. This is why America is like the most fat and unhealthy country, bro, because of shit like this. Dog, look what, yeah, like, look what niggas be making to eat, bro. Yeah. Well, whenever yeah, people they put these black gloves on and get to recording, they're about to do some bullshit. Yeah. Like, the only thing I've, only shit I've seen worse than this dude make this goddamn pizza burrito was that damn, that black dude that be making them crazy ass drinks. Oh, uh, not my guy. We making like the Gatorade tub full of <laughs> 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 pouring all the shit in. I fuck with him. Oh, he's funny. It's just so funny. Like he's keeping a straight face. I'm like, bro, there's no. How are you keeping a straight face making this? Oh, uh, he will fill up a bathtub full of like 90 bottles of vodka. Dog, man, some gummy bears, but just straight diabetes. Oh, man. There's no way he drinks any of that stuff he makes, right? No, I don't know what he's making it for either. I mean, he's probably getting sponsored by the bottles. I think is probably what's going on. Has to be. Has to be. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He's a sick Negro. You familiar with wear testers? Mm, no, what's that? Uh, so there's this YouTube channel. It's it's, it's mainly just this one dude. His, his name is Chris. He's a cool dude. He's out of Sacramento, but um, South Sacramento. He, yeah. So he reviews um basketball shoes. Okay. Like all the ones that drop basically, but he doesn't do it from the perspective of like oh the leather on here and all this type of stuff. Like he's actually wearing them to play basketball in. So he's okay. giving his opinion on them of like how they are like comfort wise. Like uh, he goes like real in depth on like the different technologies that shoes have in them as far as like. What they use it for uh cushioning, air pockets, air bubbles, and shit yeah. like that. Um, and it's actually it's how I ended up with um the the Nike GC jumps, the ones that Jokic was wearing up until this mm. year. Cause okay. he was just saying, like, yo, these these shits are crazy because like they literally got every technology that Nike has available in these shoes. So that's why I bought them. I don't even wear them shits, but um You say far next time we hoop. No, nah, they I mean I, if I do ever play basketball again, I probably will wear those, but they're just not really good to wear with like normal pants. Um, so they did their best shoes that dropped this year. Um, they actually did a video for this, but I went on their website and they have all the shoes that they went over on here. Mm -hmm. Um, I think most people ended up putting the the Harden seven number one. Um, but the way this is like set up right here, I'm pretty sure it's saying the LeBron 21 is number one. Um, but I, I have not seen in person yet. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. So. They're supposed to be pretty comfortable. Uh, KD 16s, good score on here. 9.5, um, okay. Yeah, do you have any of these? Nah, I have I haven't had a KD shoe in a long time. Okay. Harden sevens. Um, they were very, very big fans of these. It's the second version of the Yoka shoe, the GT Jump 2. But actually, I'm saying I'm gonna pick these up. They're 135 for like an all red pair on Nike.com right now. Ooh. Um Sabrina INSQ ones, which heavily I kind of like I like her shoe in a couple colorways. Yep. So that yeah. this is an eight point five on here. Zoom Freak Fives. You have any um, Giannis's? Nah, I I wanted a pair of the first ones, but I never copped a pair. Damn, okay. he's on his fifth shoe now. Shit. Oh, that, that was fast. Yeah. Uh, Curry Elevens, which these ones right here, they don't look bad to me. Um, but I know you are a harsh critic of. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they uh they sponsor uh my goat Dwayne Johnson. It's seven we trust, nigga. So, <laughs> have you ever seen any of his uh shoes? His trainer shoes? Yes. They look racist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <He got flags laughs> Mellow balls, Mellow ball ball. ball balls, NBO threes. Um, eight point seven. Now, shit. Oh, that was fast. Uh, I remember the first ones very much. Puma All Pro Nitro. I'm pretty sure RJ Barrett was wearing these. I know School um, Henderson got a shoe. Maybe these were them. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Brianna Stewart, her second shoe is on here. Nine out of ten. Um, then honorable mention Jordan 38. I think these, I don't know who these are. It's a serious player. Only one. They talked about the Austin Reeves shoe. Those they're pretty good. Um, 
New Balance yeah, Fresh Foam fresh BB. Foam. Those don't look bad. But a lot of it's just like it's eye opening to me because it's like we don't look at these shoes that like this is like Steph or yeah. um, so New Balance shoe or things that are outside of mainly like the Nike and Adidas brands. And a few Adidas ones, yeah. Yeah, that are like as viable options. But like when when you see someone actually like break down like what it's like to wear these and, and who put them shit like that, you're like, damn, like they're actually making quality over there. If I can just get past that logo on the side of it, like I probably can fuck with these. Like I want that colorway of those bronze so bad. Yeah, that's a good colorway. Yeah, that was the first colorway that dropped. I gotta get a pair of those. I don't they, they said these ways are good too. Hey, I like a lot of Wade shoes. A lot of them be kind of clean. Yeah. I was seeing them on Twitter because I follow like the way Wade like Twitter page or Instagram page. He's got some good silhouettes for show. Yeah, man. I thought that was pretty interesting. You have, uh, if you could give an honorable mention to a shoe that dropped this year that you were a fan of that you've actually worn. Uh, a shoe that I, I didn't really cop too many shoes this year, honestly. I think, uh, damn, that was definitely last year. I would say the most comfortable shoe I bought that I remember wearing, but I didn't wear it till this year were those, uh, those Adidas Ultra 4Ds, the ones that came out for the Black Panther movie, mm-hmm. I think those are the most comfortable shoes I've, I've worn in a long time. I remember I wore those. those. Yeah, no, nah, those are those are comfortable as fuck. I kind of want to get another pair actually. Uh, I think honestly this year I, I bought those those Air Max ones for he- Hispanic Heritage Month, and I don't think I really got anything else this year. Honestly, oh no, was uh was those Green Bean Fives this year? Was that this year? Um. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say that, that was last it? year. God damn. Yeah, I need to fucking wear those. I haven't worn those yet. But yeah, nah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't see the Anthony Edwards shoes on there. Um, I don't think he had them yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like those, man. I kind of want to fuck around and get a pair of those. If I could get those like discounted, I would. Actually, I, I could probably find a way to get those like, like twenty percent off. Or something. As far as I know, they haven't reviewed them yet. Yeah. I was just watching. They have they do a podcast too. I was watching their podcast and they yeah. weren't talking about them. Speaking of shoes, um, I think we all struck out on getting those Christmas Kobe's, the reverse Gringes. That I'm heartbroken. Just... I'm torn. I'm kind of getting fed up because it's like, bro, like I'm not finna like suck Nike's dick for them to take my money so I can own some of the shoes. You know, it's like I'm trying to give you my money. They're refusing it, and then it's like. I know Vanessa, Kobe, Vanessa Bryant, she made the Instagram post talking about, oh, we got three times as much available quantity sent it out so the fans and everybody could get a pair. And then I don't know one. I know I've seen one person that I know in real life that that hit for a pair. And she got, I was like, damn, wow, shout out to her. I'm hating, but like, dog, I don't know anybody. Would I'm the only you... person I know that bought the, that, that cop the Grinches. That, was that last year or was that two years ago? Yeah, no, that was, that you had a lot of ticket on that. Yeah, because I do, and and I just got lucky. I was, I probably, if we weren't out delivering packages early before work, because I usually have my phone on airplane mode in the office, but I was out, and that shit says you have grant ex, ex, uh, early access. So if it wasn't for that, I probably would have missed it. Mm. But yeah, it's like, dog, like, I'm, I'm not trying to pay resale. If the resale was like 350 I could maybe do four, because I do really want those hella bad. But it's like, man, like, I'm not trying to pay no six fifty, no six hundred. It's like, man, I can't do that. The only way I would justify paying that, I am willing to trade some shoes, whatever, to maybe get a pair of those. Because, like, honestly, if somebody was like, "Hey, I would trade you your uh," I got the my cousin got me a pair of them. I got the uh, the Hall of Fame undefeated Kobe ones. You know the ones that are like the purple and gold silhouette. You seen those? I gotta look it up. Yeah, they came out for his uh. They came out for his Hall of Fame ceremony like the week of, I want to say, but I got those. I would be willing to trade those straight up for the reverse crunches. Ooh, Jesus fire. You see which one I'm talking about with the purple with the gold with the little. Yeah. 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 Does yours have the red stripe or the purple stripe? Uh, I don't know. I just got the. Is, is it red, I think? Or there was there more than one stripes? I can't. I think one of these are protos, and the one of them is like when they came out for the first time. I don't know. Oh, maybe no. Each side of the shoe is a different color stripe. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'd be willing to trade those straight up for the Grinches. But I, I think those are out. those are going. Um. I think last time I looked at those, I think those are going for like seven hundred, something like that, like resale. Mm-hmm. I just jump downstairs. Yeah. But the Grinches, I dog. I got the Grinches. Those are going for like thirteen hundred. 
So if I'm ever down bad, I'm definitely getting rid of those if I don't wear them. But man, if I could get the reverse wrenches, man, I already told you guys what I wanted to do. I'm wearing one on each foot. I really, I think why I was so upset is because I really thought like, man, I got the last pair. I'm probably going to get this pair too, honestly. Do you and, have like a long-term plan for for your shoe collection? Like, is there so, so something you're holding on to them for? Because like you don't wear most of them, right? So it's Yeah, like, no, nah, that's why like I really do want to like, cause me, me and my dad were talking about it. And then he was like, man, like, what are you going to do with some of that stuff? Because, like, some of that shit's just kind of, like, collecting dust. And I haven't seen, like, the value of, like, certain sneakers go up in value. Because I know, I think the most money I've gotten paid for a resale, I traded the uh, I traded the 3M5s from the Countdown Pack. Not the Countdown Pack, the Rage of Bull Pack, like, the mm-hmm. the silver slate, slatish ones. I got those off for, what, 700 750 maybe two years ago? Because they were brand new, never worn, still, like, the half of the box. You got to deal with like um some of that shit like yellowing stuff and stuff too from like it just didn't certain stuff yeah so yeah. I I learned uh one of the homies because he had the uh, the rising sun twelves or the elevens the all white ones okay so you don't want to have them in like in the it, keeping the shit in the boxes is fine but it's like uh you don't want to have them next to like vents where like what's like hella heat and all that stuff because that can like mess up the color because my homeboy said he he didn't wear them for like three four years he took them out of the box. They were just like fucked up. Like they were like all yellowed and all kind of stuff. And like, you know, those are never coming back ever. Cause they're supposed You're to me. they're supposed to do all the shoes in all white. Yeah. So he just kind of like ruined those. But yeah, I, I do think I'm seriously gonna start like because I there's I want to get rid of a couple pairs just so if I, I want to pay for like a pair that I really want that I would actually wear. So I could kind of like justify because then it's pretty much just like trading. You're, yeah, so I was thinking about this the other day. Obviously, it's your stuff, so, like, whatever you want to do is, is is you, but, like, especially being in the Northwest with the housing shit being, like, how it is, like, just being wild expensive and always going up in price like that, mm-hmm. and I know, like, I have, like, just a fucking, like, basically a pile of inventory that just needs to get transferred over to be currency. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would, like, l- really look hard at those, sell, like, the most of it, Um, probably, like, open, like, a high-yield savings account put that money in there let it sit for like a year and then like down payment on a house and like that because like then like that shit like grows in equity your value keeps going up because like you own that house now yeah. um and you can get back in the shoes if you want to you probably can't gonna get the shoes that you just sold to get the house but it's like shit like, yeah because like because like man because i know like when i first started like uh especially when i like first moved out and like when like so this is like 2014 2013 mm-hmm. like shoes were like decently priced and like i remember when i first moved out rent was hella cheap like bro like rent when i first moved out like when i first moved into that apartment off of, uh off of orchard that my rent was 920 and i split that shit in oh, half. them days gone them days yeah. Yeah, exactly so it's like 2013 2014 and, you know like i was working like hella hours at the post but it's like i still had like so i out I, there was probably a point in time where i was probably buying like one or two pairs of shoes a month. Mm-hmm. So like that shit just start adding up and I start having to keep shit at my mom's. So like I I definitely am playing because I, I could definitely cut down half of my collection and be like be just fine. Cause I know like when I do go somewhere, there's like I just go back to some of the same pairs. Like yeah, I will yeah. break out something new every now and then if I do want to feel like just nah, let me let me bring these out, but I am kind of just I'm sick about them Kobe's man. It's fucking annoying. I do Hopefully. I do want to keep checking back and see if the value for uh resale is gonna go down on those reverse cringes. But like I don't know if they're planning to restock them or what, but we'll that's what I was gonna see you playing with fire. Like if they're if they're at three hundred and fifty dollars on resale right now, no, they're not at three hundred and fifty, they're like five or six. Oh, it's gone up since then? Y'all was uh, telling me this past weekend it's three fifty. Not 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 in my size. You gotta think about it, like bigger size. I've seen like yeah. some smaller sizes at like three fifty, but like like twelve, twelve and a half, them shit's like five hundred and up. <laughs> yeah, it, it's nasty. That's I don't the, know that's if that shit thing. gets better. Did you did you see um? That's the thing too, man. Like, oh man, I wish I'd have pulled the trigger on those Kobe the Kobe Prelude Sixes. Like, this was obviously before you get passed. The resale for those was like three eighty four hundred. I just never pulled the trigger on them when I was getting ready to. Uh, something that happened. I didn't. After he passed, bro, them shits were like twelve hundred dollars. Now it's like, bro, I can't spend twelve hundred dollars on one pair of sneakers. I have like, I think, uh, probably two or three pairs of Kobe's in my um my wants on goat uh, before mm-hmm. he passed, and they were like anywhere from one hundred and twenty to like one hundred eighty dollars. Yeah. And now they're not even available. Like they're not in stock anymore. 
Bro, that or like people just want like, oh, what do you want to offer? Like, man, kiss yeah. my ass, man. Like eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. Like, damn. Like, remember we were at a, like... we were at Marshalls on thirty eighth or the one at Lakewood when we found them Kobe nines. The, yeah, yeah, the big ass boots. Oh, uh, what is it? The Kobe nines. That's the Kobe nine Christmas, or those are coming out the next year for the holiday Pretty season. Nuts. Have you 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 can you you remember what those look like? The yeah, the tall ones, the red ones, yeah, like red and red. black. Yeah, with the white. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be coming out next year. I wonder what the hell they're gonna try to charge. Probably like two fifty, I'm guessing. Because yeah, if it's low no, top shoes are one ninety, you think it'll be more than two fifty? Yeah, because they're not gonna do it with the same technology that came out. Then they're gonna be proto, so that means they they're gonna put their latest shit into those. There's already a lot of material. Uh, okay, yeah, you're probably right. Damn, it's not attack for them. Fuck yeah, yeah, especially if like if it's official about the seventeens coming out with the suitcase being three hundred. Yeah, those probably be like two sixty, two seventy. I'm guessing then. Yeah, they're gonna tax for them. Sheesh. Yeah, it's rough so out here, man. yeah, well, fuck shoes and uh fuck Nike. But hopefully they restock them, man. I do want those hella bad. If we can get this Nike sponsorship, man. We need four pairs, man. That could be Nike now, so gotta cut a check. I think we play around a lot of these sponsorships. I know they are going to curtail the content. It'll be worth it, but oh hell yeah. Um, we can get four pairs of Kobe's, me, you, Tyrell, and we can get Brindley a pair, we straight. Yeah, uh, maybe it'd be worth it. If the way come, that'd be nice. We can't. I wonder what the hell they wouldn't like not let us talk about. There's probably certain athletes and names we couldn't mention. We couldn't. I'm fine with it. We, don't, we can't slander Braun, of course. Oh, when you can't come in here and put Ron Mexico on your shit. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Damn. Yeah, yeah. A lot of my jokes are probably going to get shut down. Yeah. You be having some good ones, though. I ain't going to lie. That was yeah. a. Yeah. Having fun, <laughs> <laughs> man. Damn, yeah, nah, we gotta, we gotta go. Oh, fucking, um, you excited for uh, you going any plans to go see Aquaman 2? Aquaman 2 is this weekend. I am excited, but no plans, no plans, um, too much to plan for. But I am looking forward to seeing that movie whenever I do see that movie because the, the latest trailer is like the banter back and forth with him and his brother. Um, I like the little environment there going through on there the lost world and all that shit so i think yeah. i think it's gonna be a good one um i think black man is a really good villain too i like his actor so yeah yeah abdul mateen i think is his name something like that something like that yeah, yeah. I, I think i think we're in for a good one i think it's gonna be a good movie i like the first movie so yeah, gonna i fucked up the movie. first one yeah um, they they had to do some like reshoots right well i don't know how they're gonna um like what, what storyline they're going to stick with what it'll be like more so how it appeared in um, I believe it was the Snyder cut for the Justice League because the story that they told of Aquaman on there is a little different than the story that they had inside his movie. Yeah, um, things didn't line up exactly. So I wonder which one is canon exactly. This now. is the end of the DCU, man. The Snyder, the Snyder versus yeah. the end of it. So I think they'll on. probably go out with a bang. I think this is probably be a good way to to wrap up that point in time. Yeah, I like Jason Momoa's uh, Aquaman. He was cool. He did all right, job. Yeah, I, I, I'm like I said, no plans to see it, just because uh, I'm not gonna. Just, I don't think I'm gonna go by myself, and my daughter's probably not gonna sit through that one. So I'm just gonna wait till it comes out at home. Yeah, it'll be on HBO Max. Uh, yeah, who knows? But yeah, hey man, hopefully ne- by next time we record, I'll uh, be able to give you guys a review. Cause I'm definitely gonna go see that shit. I hear you. Yeah, let us know. Just, yeah, man. I'm gonna need some of the more than it's cool. <laughs> if you can do that for me, I appreciate it. Hey man, now I'm gonna take some notes while I'm in there. No nah, man, right. I am excited to see that shit. So hopefully, I might go see it. Uh, if I get off work at a decent time on Thursday, I, I'll go Thursday. It just depends on how work is. Okay, I think I think next week too we may have to do the um, Golden Cup stuff because it's about that time. Oh yeah, yeah, year in wrap up. Yeah, it's about uh, that. Time. Sheesh, damn, bro, this year went by hella fast. Seems like. Yeah. It was a good year, man. I ain't gonna lie. So I, I had no a fun complaints. year this year. Hmm? I, I had no complaints. Uh, things are continuing to move up for the boy. I'm very grateful for that. So, um, Damn. Hope, yeah, now nah, yeah, we gotta do some, some year in wrap up stuff, man. Yeah, we gonna do a. Oh, are we gonna do a uh, Uncle Murder year in wrap up song? Yo, that's a good point because I looked that up last week, and there's yeah. one out, but it doesn't sound like any other ones he's done. So I think it's AI. But it's on a page called Uncle Murder Vivo. And like 
he's in the comments arguing with people. Yeah. I don't know if it's real or not. It doesn't seem like it's the real one. Mm. Man. But he's covering shit that happened this year, so I don't know. Huh. Hey, if I wanted to just start recording music with my laptop and I got a mic, I wonder what like software and stuff I need. No, you um uh, what? The there was a diss track that Tyrell put inside our chat earlier this week. You heard the quality on that, it was terrible. I'm sure you don't need much of anything. You probably just go to voice notes. Yeah, but like if I want to put like a beat over it too, though. Um, you can audacity, audacity, you can like play a track and hit record oh, like over the track. On there. Yeah, oh, shit. Uh, audacity's free. Oh, we're gonna start getting some freestyles off. What yeah. How do you think uh, quickly uh, unfocus the mixtape? So I was saying that that bun dude on, on Twitter who'd be rapping when the Saints lose, like the bun dude is hilarious. He's funny. Yeah, he don't well. got much behind that. Like, yeah. Dude, I'll be I'll be listening to his uh his playlist on Apple Music. That's a funny nigga, man. It's just of his songs. No, no, no. Just like he be putting out his playlist, like just period. Oh, okay. But he did be having the funniest ones. Funny. I'm trying to think the funniest one. The funniest ones are what come after you guys when you guys lose a game. Those are always like the best ones. That, that bun nigga is hilarious. Yeah, you got good timing. Man, hopefully see we can see we can get Tonyo for a year in wrap up. See, see if we can get him to pull up for the end of the year. Tonyo's not rapping. He's D Joe Budden. He's not rapping no more. I'm talking about just just come on. Show. But I know uh I, I don't know if he's because they lost last night. Yeah. They uh what Drew Locke dropped dick off on the Eagles? Like he was arguing in the stands too. Like they had him fed up. Miko was by his side, not helping at all. I think yeah, Miko and Miko. I think I'm pretty sure Miko's brother was next to him. He oh, met Miko's brother. Arguing. I've never seen Miko's brother. Oh, okay, interesting guy. Cool nigga. Interesting guy though. Shout out to Miko, man. Shout out to Miko. Fuck that nigga. John and, John the uh, Don. You wanna wanna wrap up some of the last week's uh football games real quick? We can get on the battle here. No, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, hey man, y'all team won, man. My team was the one. I no, I don't give a fuck about that, man. Oh yeah, you trying to get that draft pick? Hell yeah, man. Like, hey, like we talked about earlier. Uh, I'm sure we've done this like nine times on this podcast. I'm trying to get Caleb Williams. I'm trying to get anybody's dog, Jaden Daniels. Come on down. That would be fire if you guys could get him, especially like him being an Hell LSU yeah. guy too. Yeah, I don't know where he's from, like originally, you. but. Don't matter. Yep. He got the stamp on him. He got a Heisman for the Tigers. Like they'd love that. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, obviously we got Chargers, Bengals, uh, Chargers, Hoochie spat on, thumb put in it, whatever you want to say. Consensual though. Um split the butt cheeks like Poof. there you go. Um <laughs> Jake Browning continues his streak of dominance. The Bengals are eight and six now after a win over the, the Vikings. Um three point win. Um Gardner Minshew beats uh, Mitch Trubisky and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, Najee Harris was pretty disappointing in that game. I'll say that much. No, that's a fact. Yeah. Um, the Broncos, I think, stunned both of us um, in losing to the Lions 42 to 17. Sons Definitely thought bitches. they'd have more fight in them right there. They got smoked. Jared got Goff smoked. had his fucking best game of the year. Yeah, that was the, the last of the three game Saturday slate that we had last week. Um, in an absolute stinker of a game, the uh, Bryce Young and the Panthers get their second one of the season, nine to seven, over the Falcons. Shout um, out to Donnie. You Panthers yeah, man. I think that was um, Arthur Smith's name be written inside the death notebook right there. Um, you think he's fired? Is this his first year or is this his second year? He's year two. Year two. You think they get rid of him? Because like the team isn't bad, aren't they? Like seven to seven. I. They're six and eight now. Okay, but it's. I like, think it might. Because if you, if you again look at the draft capital they've expended on offense, um, you expect more for them. And yeah, you could you could put the blame onto Desmond Ritter, but that's your second quarterback because you used Mariota for the majority of last year, switched to Ritter at the end, and now Ritter's a guy that you probably had some type of say on an evaluation on. You bring yeah. him in and he can't perform either. So it's like, hey, um, we're getting towards the end of Kyle Pitts and Drake London's contracts. Like, um, we have a tremendous uh garden Lindstrom. They have uh, Jake Matthews on the line. They have some other good players on the line. Like yeah, they that, got that a good offense, line. Yeah. yeah, the offense got pieces on it. It should be doing a lot better than it is. So bro, they, um, they got yeah, the best running back in the NFC South, Bills, Tyler Algier. Nah, um, nah. <laughs> Algier is good, though. I ain't going to lie. He's a good backup. But. He's fucking better. So I, I feel like, yeah, maybe, again, like you talk about, um, we, the next game on here is the Browns with a three-point win over the Bears. Um, 
but we've talked about what happens to Fields next year. And hell, if you're the Falcons and you end up with a um, a package of Fields as your quarterback next year and uh, the enemy as your head coach, with that with those offensive pieces, I'd expect a lot more. Like, like why wouldn't you try that if you have the option, right? Yeah, no, you make a point. He's got Sam Howell cooking. <laughs> yeah. Sam Howell's numbers would be even better if he didn't get sacked like every three plays too. He's getting destroyed. Yeah, he's getting hit a lot. Yeah. So um, like like so like you said, the next game is the Browns, a three point win over the Bears. Joe Flacco comes c- continues to play strong um off the streets. Um, very surprising. The Bears uh s- skill position players continue to sell Justin Fields at an yeah. all time level. Skill players <laughs> that aren't DJ Moore. Yeah. God damn, yeah. Darnell Mooney, Mooney and um, sold. Robert Tunney. Tunyon. Tunyon, Tunyon, that's his name. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, y'all, yeah. Y'all gotta check in. That's crazy. Yeah, no, <laughs> drop them off at Old Block. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Barefoot. <laughs> um, exactly. Have they, they make they have they they got their jewelry on too. Exactly. They, they need to catch a uh, they need to get their ass beat for that. Yeah, it was crazy. Um Baker Mayfield shows out. I think he put up like three hundred something yards, four mm-hmm. touchdowns. The 34 to 20 win over the Packers, who have been playing strong as of late. So it's kind of a little surprising to see them um get railroaded a bit like that. Fuck that, you, Drew. Yeah, it's kind of been the story of Jordan Love a little bit. He, I mean, strong performances and weak performances, like bouncing back and forth. Um, I think he's definitely answered the question whether or not he's the starting quarterback in the league, though. Probably deserves another run at that. Um, yeah, he's got some talent for sure. He got an arm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. The things are going for them. He looks real good. Yeah. Um, Dolphins thirty to zero over the Jets without Tyreek Hill. I didn't watch any of that game. I just saw the stats. I was like, oh, it looked like Jalen Waddle uh, did his best Tyreek Hill impersonation this week. Uh, looks like they have more fast players that aren't just Tyreek Hill. Yeah. Um. And then, well, does Zach Wilson get hurt or did he get benched this game? Because I saw Trevor Simeon was taking snaps. I had some stats. I, uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? The Jets suck. I was out and about when that game was on. Yeah. Just um, and Joe Namath was ass. I looked up his stats. Fucking bum. Fact. He called a shot though, which I mean, as as sports better is something we all aspire to do. Nobody gives so. a fuck about that segregation Super Bowl championship. That was a nasty not even one? the Super Bowl. Which, which number was that? I don't know. I know it's probably an old one. I know he had a segregation bowl. Damn, yeah, it's, um, it's old as fuck. Think about how old Joe Namath is. I know he's up there. Yeah, yeah. It might I not even be in the Super Bowl. It might have been just like. NFL championship. NFL championship. Yeah, you got one of them. We don't give a fuck. All right. Um, my Saints with the twenty four to six wins over the Giants, which I would bounty um, gate. I was gonna say I would. I would uh, nominate this as the most violent game of the week for what we did to Tommy DeVito. He was getting fucking um, smoked. The commission gave the green light, and I don't know if that's an insensitive joke. Uh, he says he wants people to stop doing that, but I'm here, so <laughs> this is what it is. You're uh, all night. <laughs> yep. Uh, he got smacked when he tried to slide. I don't think that was a dirty hit because it's kind of hard. Like when you're running full speed, getting ready to make a play, and then like they kind of slide super fast. You're already like, you know, you, you kind of start to give yourself up, but like some people are better down to giving themselves up and getting down faster than others. And I, I think that one wasn't that bad. Like, remember some of those older so ones we used to see when we were kids, like when Trent Green used to get fucking smacked after one. That is, yeah, some of I those mean, him, were like him bad. and Joe Flacco. But Joe, yeah. uh, I think the Trent Green one, they didn't throw a flag on that. Joe Flacco one, they did. Joe yeah. Flacco got his fucking blocks, man. That was crazy. Dude, yeah, that Tommy DeVito one, like, because he was still kind of, like, upright a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, it, it looked bad, but I didn't hate that one. But, yeah, he, he tried to get up hella fast, and he was wobbly. I was like, no, I was Ooh. not ready to get up. CTE. CTE. Yes, sir. Um, CJ Stroud and the Texans improved it. Eight and six with a win over the Titans. Oh no, that wasn't even see the shot. Sorry, that was the, the um. Oh, what is his name? Case Keenum. Case Keenum. Case Keenum yeah. in the Texas proved to eight. Oh yeah, back eight. back in Houston. Case Keenum exactly. Um, Spent the block. Went over the Titans, who have been again the offense have been cooking a little bit as of late with Will Levis at the starting quarterback spot. Um, so interesting to see AFC South is getting a little contentious, a little tight down there. Um. We got the Chiefs with uh, a win over the Patriots, which everyone saw coming. But that first half was a little touch and go. It was a little scary. 17. Not gonna lie, it was a little scary. Um, Chiefs are nine and five now. I think outright holding first place in the AFC West. Forty um, ers continue to be dominant, putting up forty five big ones and a win over the Cardinals. Um, 
put up 29 points with Kyler Kyle Murray back. So they have an offense again. Uh, since, yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. You think um, they're the favorite to win the Super Bowl right now? Is that like your favorite? If you had to pick a team to win the Super Bowl, would it be the 49ers? It's got to be. They're playing the best football by far. Yeah. They got a fucking roster, dude. Like, God damn. Uh, I will say if we get um, 49ers versus Dolphins, that's probably going to be a fun ass game. That would be fun. I would like that. A lot of points, I bet. Um, Rams with an eight point win over the Commanders. Um, Rams approved to seven and seven, which uh, I think they might be talking wild card a little bit here. Yeah, they got to be in the docks. Yeah, so good for them because that with that roster, I didn't see that for them this year. Um, Shit, me neither. Um, Kyron Williams has come on strong. Cooper Cup's come back. Uh, Puka Nakua, obviously, surprise player of the year. Kyron Williams is nice, bro. He's a good back. Yes, he is. McVay be having him cooking. Yeah, exactly. The, the Bills going a lot earlier in fantasy next year. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. No, no, for sure. He's probably a He's first round pick. First or second. Yeah. Um, the Bills did their big one on the Cowboys. Woo! Again, to the surprise of us both. Didn't yeah. see that coming. 31 10. Cowboys are absolutely god awful. Like, not like none of the team they've been in the past like six weeks. So, shout out Immortal Raiden. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you mortal. Know who you are. You bitch. Yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. Cowboys got a pussy shut him, on. Whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Golly. Uh, they shit pushed in. That's crazy. I had them winning too. I thought, man. You know what's real bad though? This isn't even the worst loss match you're gonna see this year. This team has to, or no, sorry, that's your team has to play Georgia in the fucking bowl. My fault. <laughs> you son of a bitch, <laughs> nigga. We're about to get hoard. If y'all win though, I put a banner up for real. That's crazy. <laughs> Loser ass banner. Oh, nah, second street quarterback. Like, come on, man. We the the. Two time reigning champ with one loss. We are about to get slored. The real natty. Um, hey, right. I think LSU is about to do Wisconsin bad. Uh, yeah, I think it's about that time. I seen them at like eight and a half point favorites. I'm like, yeah, I think I might throw a little something on that. They're, they're about to get slored. Jaden McDaniels, that's about he's he's got to show out. This is his last game because he just won the, the Heisman yeah. and he's definitely got to try to put on for you know because they're, the they're not talking about him over the other two quarterbacks still. So yeah, this this is your last push before it comes to like pro days and combine, like you're saying. Yeah. So yeah, because he's probably like what the there. third or the fourth quarterback. I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it too, th- this it's is probably exactly him the and game. Phoenix. Yeah. Well, I think I think Drake May's probably still above him too. No, I'm saying like one is Caleb, two is May. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who and then I would say those? like Phoenix yeah. and McDaniel's are like three and four. You probably. I was gonna say about. this is exactly the game that launched Jamarcus Russell the first pick. Not saying that Jaden James is Jamarcus Russell. Obviously, we we. Hope and pray that he is a far better player, complete player than Demarcus Russell. But that that's a performance is like what he needs. It's how he did in that was a Cotton Bowl, Sugar Bowl. Yeah, he was just laser in that shit. Dog, he had the strongest arm I've ever seen in college football. Dog, yeah, still might be. Yeah, that shit Sir. is crazy. Yeah, nah, shout out. To- Remember that uh, he was course sided at Suns game. He had that black diamond bracelet on. I'll never forget it. No, nah, that <laughs> shit was so. <laughs> that hard. shit was like, sick. No, that was the cleanest. He had that and the like black. Twelve rooms. That shit was crazy. I like, bro. I've never seen jewelry like that ever. What the fuck? Nah. All of us don't need money, but salute. I mean, he had and he had a good story on the Players Tribune where he talked about what went wrong with him and all the struggles that he had in life. Like, yeah. he was never supposed to have money. Like. Nah, he needed man. to talk to a lot of people before he got them checks, but nah, that, that's just not how shit works. So, man, oh, hey man, if I ever got a check like that, hey man, we gonna we gonna have all we we all had that same jewelry on. I was thinking to myself earlier today, like um, the stupid shit or the petty shit that I would do if I had a bunch of money. Sometimes, like there's a there's a reason why I don't have it or why I wasn't born into a ton of money. Mm. Um, it it just it just was not meant to be. I'm not supposed to have it, so. I'd have a black diamond chain, dog. Me and all my niggas have a black diamond chain. That'd be the game, black diamond game. Yeah, exactly. Uh-uh. All right. Um, speaking of your um, eeps, um, the Jaguars lost twenty three to seven to the Ravens. Oh uh, yeah, now nah, we shot ourselves in the foot a lot this game. Uh, Lamar made a hell of a play. Thought well, he like he broke a Josh Allen sack and ran like from one end to the other end and threw that. That passed a lively. I'm like, God damn, man. There's he's the only player 
only like a handful of guys can make plays like like him. This is by Allen. far my favorite version of Lamar. The, the yeah, way he's using his him. mobility to get throws done now, yeah. like, yeah. And I don't, I don't mean again. I don't mean to keep uh, kicking a, a horse or harping on this, but like, it's exactly how I'd like to see Justin Fields play. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then like, man, Justin Fields made a play like that. Uh, that touchdown to commit. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It looked just. It was pretty much. It wasn't as like as long of a throw, but it was that same vein. But, but that's, yeah, nah, I mean, man. so like maybe like you go get like again like whatever Atlanta chooses to do next year, maybe you end up with um the Ravens OC and Justin Fields um in Atlanta. Like that'd be beautiful. Best Madden team of all time. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. Yeah. Love to see it. Dude, if I'm if I'm the Bears, bro, I keep Justin because yep. I keep Justin. We take Marvin Harrison Jr. and we bring his dad on the staff. And then we take the best lineman with our second pick. He's having stand on the sideline every game, just gripping. Yep. Like the DB. Taking pictures, like. taking pictures like a little baby. Yep. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Now, nah, yeah. Uh, Trevor Lawrence was being fucking mid. Uh, he's been mid as fuck this year, and uh, I would definitely be on his ass more because you know my I, I love uh, I love critiquing uh white mediocrity, but he's he's the quarterback of my team, so I cut him some slack. Oh, somebody shared a nasty graphic into one of our chats today. Oh, yeah, I seen that. Like the numbers like next to Daniel Jones. It was almost identical, sir. I was not. Yeah, nah, they were uh, I didn't identical. like it. I didn't like it. My only argument is that like throw away the first year with Urban Meyer. That's fair. I yeah. still didn't like it. Yeah, that nah, was nasty. But yeah, nah, <laughs> uh, we are we are losing. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happens. The the defense wasn't so bad because like the offense couldn't really help. We Brandon McManus missed like two field goals. Really, that should have been a touchdown at the end of the game. Did you see that? That was that was that was racist. I don't care what anybody says. They don't like the black to white connection. That was racist. Uh, yeah, but uh, we'll be back next week. We got the oh, Trevor Lawrence might not play. He could be in concussion protocol. Yes, man. They, they showed when he got hit, like his head smacked the ground, and they showed him playing. And then like, so you know, uh, what's my man's name with the fucked up finger on NFL Network? Uh, Baldinger. Baldinger. He was oh, showing when... some plays, and then you like having the mangles. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> yeah, he gets the best footage. He got the Madden replay footage where he can just go yeah. off the camera. But yeah, there's like some some crazy errant passes, and they think like he played the rest of the game concussed. I was like, mm. some of them balls looked crazy. Pause, pause. That that sounded crazy. But yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, now right. we'll be back. The Eagles so better than um, the Chargers, nigga. Absolutely. God, everybody. Um Eagle with the absolute stinker coming up to the Seattle. They'll lose to Jackson Smith and Jigba and, J- and Drew Locke. Yeah, um, not Drew Locke stretch. dropped Dick off. That was nasty. Yeah. Um, it's kind of absurd to me. Um, they really have nothing throwing the ball right now. Um, the run game is tremendous, though. But, yeah, Jalen Hurts throwing the ball is not where it's at. Well, I don't get it. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, like, he'll look right so good that sometimes he'll just look kind of mid. It's like, man, what yeah. the fuck? So it's like, you know. I think he ended up, he put up two touchdowns on the ground, so it's like, should I have him on fantasy? I had 23 points from him. So. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's hard to argue with that, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck you for beating me in the little consolation bowl, whatever in the fantasy. I league. know, just barely, though, too. Like, about four points or something. Dog, fucking. Bijan gave me point four points, dog. God damn. Yeah, no, that's the wrong game. Tyler Azure is really better than him. You're right. Fuck it. Yeah, Tyler Azure is better. Yeah, no, nah, that's what, week 15, right? We only got, like, what, two weeks? Yeah, week, week 15, week 16 is coming up. I'll run through this real quick. Uh, Saints and Rams Thursday night, both team seven and seven. Um, I would stay away from that game for a betting angle. I don't like either team. Um, we got Saturday, a two-game slate again. Um, so we got Bengals at Steelers, which is always a fun one, very physical game. Um, probably go Bengals on that one. They I have got the better yeah. offense at the moment. Um, Bills at Chargers. Um, I'll probably go the over on that one. 11 uh, and a half point favorites. I will take them to cover. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, because Herbert's gone. Yeah, they're going to get fucked. Yeah, they're going to get smacked. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and I bet, I bet, like, um, just with LA being a city of so many people from other places and Fairweather fans, too, as we have seen, I bet mm-hmm. that is like a Bills home game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Nobody fucks with the Chargers. Except Tyrell. Yeah. And Sheldon. Tyrell, yeah, um, Tyrell and Sheldon, yeah. We got uh, Sunday kicking it off with Colton Falcons. Um, Gardner Minshew uh, probably Nigga, continues. fuck the Falcons. Give, I hate saying this, but give me the Colts, bro. Fuck the Falcons. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be a crazy one. Um, Arthur Smith, see you in hell. I wonder, do the Colts and Texans play again? 
NFC. That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, Colts got the Raiders next week. Let me go to 18 real quick. Oh, they play week 18. Sheesh. That's going to be fun. Okay. Um, we have the Packers at the Panthers. I do not think Bryce Young sees a win streak this season. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> probably going to be Packers there. Um, we got the Browns at the Texans. Which you, if CJ Stroud's not playing, I'll take the Browns. Yeah, that's crazy to say. Yeah. Um, Joe Flacco threw three picks and they still won the game, dog. Defense is that defense else. is so fucking good. Yeah, no one's talking about uh, their DC for a potential um, head coach spots. I don't even know who their D-, D coordinator is. I don't know who it is either. I mean, I know that's not the sexy hire either. People don't like doing DCs as a head coach because the league is so offensive oriented now. But shit, man, he's cooking. Um, we got Lions at Vikings, which uh, should be an easy win for the Lions, but you would think yeah. it's division games, though. Division games are always tricky. Exactly. Did Justin did just did Justin Jefferson play last week? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't heard any news since you left that game. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But no, nah, I'll go Lions. I like the Lions to win that game. Here's okay. Here's a fun betting one: Commanders at Jets. So what are they just gonna do at quarterback? Because if, if if they benched Zach Wilson, you can't bench him again, right? Like I feel like you just kind of got to roll with. Well, they cut Tim Boyle, so who's their other quarterback? Oh, they have Simeon. Simeon, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the Commanders, bro. Fuck it. There's a four and ten over a five Ooh. and nine. Oh shit! This is a disgusting game. Yeah. Yeah, and the Jets are at home too, but they did just get smacked thirty zero. But that was against the, the, the Dolphins. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't man, know. The commanders wear the black jerseys, man. Give me the commanders. Those are good ones. Yeah, okay. Are, I fuck with those. Um, Seahawks at Titans, which again, I feel like is also a pick them damn near. Um, you probably can make some money putting money on the Titans, though. I'm sure they're probably plus money. Yeah, it's just Seattle's two and a half point favorites. I, I'll go Seattle on the road. Really? In Nashville? Yeah, right. I got Seattle. Yeah, that's not even like no. Division rivalry shit. I just like Seattle. They got a tough win over the uh, Eagles, man. So yeah, they weren't supposed to get that one. Yeah, so I think they can't. They can That's why I feel like you can't ask Drew Locke to play well two weeks in a row. But you never know. It, it, Gino might be back next week. Maybe. Oh, Gino might be back. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. Um, Jaguars at Buccaneers. Again, damn. But I feel like this is this the- is a must win game for us. Honestly, if we yeah. lose this game, we're fucked. So them three games that we just did right there, I think that's probably the ticket to make. Whichever, however you feel about them, that's probably where you're gonna make your money this week. Because them are probably the closest in odds. Yeah, yeah, we're a one point favorite too on the road. Yeah. I do not like that, but I, I, I want to say we can get the W, but man, our defense has kind of gone to ass. And I know Trevor's in concussion protocol, maybe. So I have no idea. I wonder how. Um... The fan base is traveling that north, like central Florida area, like that. Like, because y'all Ooh, are yeah, probably, that's a good question, yeah. yeah y'all, y'all are probably the more exciting team this year. So, I do wonder if y'all can get more people in that stadium and kind of get it a bit more on your side. Yeah. Okay. Um, we got Cardinals at Bears, which is a, an NFL history nerd note right here. The Cardinals' original location was Chicago. Oh, uh, yeah. That's one I've of heard the that before. Teams. Yeah. So, um, that, uh, I think ooh, I, I might I might bet on the Cardinals for that one. Mm, that'd be an interesting game. You know what though, man? I got the Bears, man. I I think Justin's trying to audition to see uh what his future is looking like. I think and Kyler like, hasn't really done a big one since he's been back, so that's why I'm saying like I I, I definitely think Justin Fields like. Since he's returned from injury, he's he's had uh, uh, two or three good games. So I think he probably yeah, just another good and that last here, game but... was a little troubling too. Like if you didn't watch it without context, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's yeah. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> no context. That game was horrible. Yeah. Um. But I think he probably yeah. I think he probably has a better performance this one. Darnell Mooney. We don't know him to be someone who's inconsistent like that. Robert Tunyon. He was. He had some decent times in in Green Bay. Yeah, in Green so, Bay. Yeah. I think. I think DJ yeah, Moore's going to do his thing though for sure. I think the the Bears. Uh, I forget who their RB one was. It's not Khalil Herbert. It was somebody else. But he played so horrible. They just had to turn to Herbert. Um, they they just all had an off week last week. So 
I think they probably return to form offensively, but I do think it's it's about time Kyler uh, probably wills the team to a win here. Um, I can see that one being close with Cardinals winning. Yeah, no, nah, that should that should be an interesting game. I would, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to check out some of that game. How about Cowboys at Dolphins? You think the Cowboys give the ass up two weeks in a row? I don't see them giving up the ass two weeks in a row, but the Cowboys definitely aren't the same team at home as they are on the road for sure. No, at, at all. Yeah, I don't. Um, I think I got the Dolphins. Uh, even uh, Cowboys pass rush is probably going to make their presence known this week. But yeah, that's the thing. I like the Cowboys to get back on track, man. You know, this could be one of them games where Tua turns the ball over like three times. True. Deron Bland, the way he's been playing. Like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. Patriots at Broncos. That Probably should be a get get back game, get right back game for the uh, Broncos for sure. Absolutely. I know this is some bullshit. What the fuck? There's what? three games on Monday. Nah, what? Yeah, there's an 11 a.m. on my time that's on uh, CBS and Nick. That's Raiders at Chief. Oh, oh that's Christmas. It it's Christmas. You know, Christmas football? Has that a, has that been a thing before? Yeah, the, the Rams uh, Nick Loden game was on Christmas last year. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, memory. Where Baker Mayfield got the win for him. Um. Mm. So then we got yeah we got Raiders that was Chiefs. last year on Christmas that game that last year on Christmas yep wow um Raiders at Chiefs uh Chiefs probably get their act together get that dub um Giants at Eagles I do not see a way the Giants win that game I don't know yeah. what this health ass Tommy DeVito is the Eagles will trick us again it exactly. look good. And then Ravens at 49 is honestly a, a great Christmas. That's the present. game. Yeah, that's going to be the one. one. Yeah. yeah, that is going to be the one. Ooh, I hope the Ravens win. Yeah, I can't pick one on that one. I never mind. I'm going to pick the 49ers. They put up 45 points. People aren't doing that anymore. So, Yeah, they, they got, they've got handed out some ass whoopings this year. But, yeah. All right, man. Well, we got, there's going to be some good games. Another good week of football. It's going to be a great week of football for real. I think a good week for sports betting, too. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna download these apps or not. I'd delete uh FanDuel and Price because they've been holding me. I may come hey, back. Man. Maybe I have the Christmas spirit in me. Hey man, hey man, we need a damn, it's not eligible. We're oh you're in a state where it's you could definitely get us a, a sponsor. I, uh, uh, I hope so. I mean y'all have it out there too. It's just like they just do the sports book. So it's like you can do like MGM. Yeah, it's not like you can do yeah, it on the phone. On the they phone. just sponsor the sports book. No, nah, man. Hey man, prize picks. Uh hit up my guy Blake, see if you can get him in something. If you use a hashtag code uh, BB or Blake, you get a $25 match up to a $1,000 deposit. Oh, wow. No one's even doing that. They're doing $100. <laughs> <laughs> we'll match up to a $1 deposit. Um, <laughs> code BB. And you get one freebie. I do feel like if uh, that would get more people in the gambling, if like, yo, you get uh, one like fuck up bet, like that's honestly what the what they match your deposit is kind of a yeah. pulling in. It's not like your you money. One. Your money. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck that. Yeah, they should let you get one of those. Let me type. That's why I put $80 on it and you honest fucking blew it. Yeah. Good. Oh, oh, we shit, don't shoot the ball because we're up there on the stretch. <laughs> damn, man. I should have threw $50 on that damn Memphis game today. Fuck. Yeah, oh, oh, well. It is. It got to keep my money. Well, shit, man. Oh, we, I, we, that's pretty much it, honestly. Yeah, we've been here for 217. Sheesh. Yeah, man. Uh, hope you back have to a the, back to Merry Christmas. Tomorrow. Uh, hold on through this week. Yeah, oh, what are we doing on. about next week? I'm guess I know we're not recording on. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll talk about it, I'm sure. Yeah. We are I mean, we'll Thursday. see if Tuesday works or not. Um, if not, I mean, we'll figure it out. But really, the, the big thing that we have left to do is the Golden Cup Awards. So, yeah. whenever we wrap that in, probably be our last one for the year, the way things are yeah. going. So, Amen. Amen. Hope everyone has a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, um, Hanukkah, whatever it is you do. You do nothing at all if you're going to go to the movies and eat Chinese food and see Aquaman. Do that with somebody you care about, or don't if you don't fuck with nobody. Just be happy, whatever that Amen. looks like. Spend time with friends and loved ones, or hey man, be by your lonesome man. Just just be good. It's nice to be. Don't be a jerk, sometimes. mate. Don't do that. That's, yes, that's do the not depths be a jerk, of hell. Mate. Please, please don't. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah. Next week we will have the uh, the uh, Pornhub search review analysis, so we will be in that bag next week. So it's uh, be ready. 
if you've got a Kokiko uh, recipe, please send it through. I have one, and it was lacking last year, so help me out. So, and uh, Tyrell will that. be back next episode, so don't worry. Eventually. We, we held the fort down for him. Eventually. Yeah, I don't know. They I could have hired Josh McGee head coach, and he might um, RIP it. So. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But yeah, man, episode 133, man. We up out of here, man. Y'all be easy. Peace. Peace.